All right, what's up, everyone? Happy patch day. What's going on, Iowa? What's up, Rain? Ender? What's going on, Wildu? Wildo? Waldo? Do we like Congress? I do not like Congress. Congress does not do what I need it to do. Congress should be good at removing cruisers when they're broadside, like, consistently, but it does not do that. So if I'm gonna use something that's gonna, well, supposedly remove cruisers easily, why not just use a battleship? Same troll accuracy. <laughs> I mean, sure, it has a radar, then I'll just use Balti. Wichita. Anything else? So, unfortunately, I do not like Congress. Alright, well. It is Monday. And now... We have a couple of legendary ships to play. I did actually take a, a quick peek. And the sonar is actually 5.9km. But now, the question is, with Bay, how low does our detection go? Let's throw on concealment mod real quick. Yo, 5-1 detect with... So we almost have a whole kilometer of sonar. And also, duration, 122 seconds, so it lasts 2 minutes. That's actually kind of nasty. Uh-oh, Daring. Daring might have a... A severe... Uh, issue fighting this. It's actually kind of nasty, I'm not going to lie. Although, I thought Z52 had 150s that we could swap to. Maybe they just excluded it. 128s, I mean basically the same thing as uh, Z46. But we do have, you know, a normal DD layout rather than having two guns in the back. Torps were the... Yeah, 14.4 standard German torps. 10.5 km. Basically, no AA. 24,400 hit points, though. I feel like Z52 is gonna. Power creep daring, and I'm, prob I'm pretty sure. The. Uh... Actually, let's, let's look at those ship space stats before we put a commander. 102,000... Oh. So, Ohio having the highest hit points in Legends, which was in their description. That did not last very long. Alright, 17A. Reload time, 36. That's pretty fast. I mean, it did scuff the AP damage a little. It should be 15,750, same as Ohio. Maybe that's why they made the damage less, but the reload a little better compared to PC's 40. Hang on, do we have all the gimmicks? Reload time, 80 seconds. Okay, so we don't get the uh, quick cooldown heal. PC uh, Vermont has Ohio, 40 second cooldown heals. Uh, slow. Okay. Now let's see what kind of concealment we get, because PC Vermont concealment is disgusting. Whoa.
We'll probably just use uh, New Jersey anyway. All right, plotting room, concealment mod. Okay, so we get prop mod. That means we also don't get the uh, PC Vermont propulsion system, which basically is what is it? It's like the British battle cruiser line. Actually, let's see. We had 45 second turret traverse. So we don't need more turret traverse. There's like never C uh, CVs. So I think we can get away with secondaries, I guess. Just in case. Okay, with just drill bits, we get close to the 15750. With drill bits. Go to 22.7. 13 8 detect. So standard. I think PC Vermont gets it down to like 12 point something. 12 and a half. Well, I wanted to start with Z52. Actually, hang on. I also have the creator verse things. Oh, are they? I think they're universal. Alright, who do we go with? Maybe start with Nate Shot? Okay, now I kind of wish they didn't add the, like the the comms. I don't know, like the unclearness. Maybe we start with Charlie, because I feel like a lot of the old heads actually know Charlie versus the others. Moist. Okay, yeah, we'll start with Moist. Uh, Midway is not good. None of the legendary CVs are, you know, good. At least not by the CVs that we have at tier 7 standard. Hmm. That, that rear turret is kind of close to the superstructure in the back. I wonder how what kind of firing angles we get. Okay, not the best firing angle forward. What about backwards? Backwards. A little. Seems a little better. But with turrets in the front, means we can uh, actually play aggressively and push in. Fight things in front of us. Any of the YouTubers done Legends videos or stream? I have no idea. Most likely not, but at the same time, I really don't see an issue with it. Like, I know a lot of people would have rather it have been, you know, Legend CCs doing it, but then I don't think everyone thinks about the big picture being the amount of CCs and then also, like, how they would, I guess, represent, you know, Wargaming. Like, if you get into trouble 
the things you say and have been kicked out, I think that definitely goes into consideration. But also, if you think back to PC, I don't know how many of you remember that uh, there was that one thing where there was a CC that the devs didn't know was a CC or like they didn't realize. And then he was supposed to do like a sponsored video or something. But then they just pulled out because it was like something in their like contract or something that they don't do usually. So YouTubers are doing full second air builds on the Schroeder, Schroeder Cruiser build. Honestly, I was probably going to do the same thing, secondary build with Hyde. And yet they represent Wargaming with no gameplay. I mean... The Hollow Live people didn't. Unless they did play it at one point, which I highly doubt. I mean, don't think of it as, you know, them getting these actual famous YouTubers, uh, you know, into our game. Think of it as just more free content, because you can spend credits for them. Everyone has a has an issue with anything and everything. They will never be satisfied. Okay, well we found Shima. Torpedoes to port. Engine boost at torpedoes to port. They have so many radars. Brisbane, Worcester, probably Minotaur. And Shima's like right in between them all. Logan and Jake Paul would be <laughs> the end of the game. <laughs> Torpedoes dead ahead. Well, you never know. Hydroacoustic search activated. But I mean, more free content is never bad. That Minotaur is not smoked up yet, so I'm a little concerned. Alright, well that's a Shima dead. Minotaur. Our team is taking the lead. I don't know if he had sonar or radar. He didn't. Uh oh. He didn't smoke up. But he also didn't radar. Dude, how many radars did they have? Worcester, Des Moines, Brisbane, Brisbane. Four, possibly five. Since that Minotaur never smoked. 
How many do we have? One, two, three. Schroeder better than Eager? Depends on what you're trying to do with it, honestly. Like me, I try to do secondary fun time build with Eager, but it's not actually that great. Admiral Schroeder, on the other hand, will probably be a lot better. And then if you're trying to do a full accuracy cruiser build with Admiral Schroeder, you're probably better off doing that with Eager. Should try to hit his bow and see if we have quarter pin. Probably do. Okay, I'm pretty sure we do. We just got some damage off of hitting the bow. Except I'm not leading. Oh yeah, we definitely have quarter pin. Okay, this guy was playing very passive, so I'm gonna guess he has an accuracy build or not a secondary build, so I just have to get to 8 4. Seventeen hundred for an overpin. Yeah, he definitely has drill bits. Just two radar cruisers. Battle ends in five minutes. I think also the problem is a lot of people don't actually know who the creator verse, you know, those YouTubers are. I mean, at some point they're gonna they're gonna stop complaining. Cause I don't recall them uh, complaining about the Hollow Live being guises instead of CCs. And at this point, they're not complaining about the Hollow Live stuff anymore. So I mean, I think by next update they're gonna forget all about the Creativeverse. Plus, who knows, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe if they do, like, one video, like the actual Creativerse people on this game, they actually get some of their audience to play this. And their audience being actual gamers, rather than uh, history enthusiasts or, like, naval warfare enthusiasts. Old heads that might not, you know, be actual gamers. Maybe the player base actually gets better if enough of them start playing.
Because, see, I know who they all are. And I have zero problem with them being added. I think it's actually cool. You got all the recent Israeli commanders. And you got everything for 41 crates. We'll see, Andrew's not here. How much was 41 crates even? Thing is, they have to suffer starting from scratch, which is a pain. Well, but there's also the possibility that they just whale and get whatever campaign ship. <laughs> but being gamers, I'm sure they'll watch videos on how to get better very quickly. Alright, let's do it, Brick. This thing is so slow. 4 DDs. Why can't we get 4 DDs when we're playing Z52? We get 4 DDs when we play Brick. I should have looked at the armor. I recall Vermont on PC being easily citadelable compared to uh, what we have in, in Minnesota and Vermont. Okay, that accuracy looks pretty decent. It's flat. Oh, he got smashed. If we get citadels, he's dead. Oh, never mind. We only got one. Dude, poor Montana. We're like a minute in and he only has like a third of his HP left. Never mind, he has like 5% of his HP left. <laughs> Montana buff win. Make it more enjoyable. So you should totally push into the cap and fight whatever DD's there. Don't be scared. Okay, there's gearing. Gearing should lose to two DD's. Okay, actually there's two DD's over there as well. Okay, Drake, surely you have sonar, right? Well, yeah, and thanks for becoming a member. Okay, at some point this DDO gets spotted, right, Kita? Mm, the Republic's turning out. Montana.
Never mind. Did he turn him? Okay, Didi's on that side. That's good to know. Oh, hello, Shimo. Did he launch all his torps? He still has one set, actually. We just got double sitted. Okay, so Vermont can be sitted out, unlike Kansas and Minnesota. 40% torp belt. Well, this was a rather boring steamroll. I don't even think I want to waste my time with that Montana. I'll let our team shoot him. Team? No one's shooting him? Oh wait, he's healing. More damage! We just got sitted out again. Okay, I really need to look at Vermont's armor. But I guess it does have a larger citadel then. Plane's gonna keep me spotted. Oh, I just realized Channington also shot me. It's okay, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Go away, plane. Plane, leave me alone. There we go. Can I actually lob? It says I can. Ooh, the front guns look pretty decent. Or at least one of them. Two of them. Oh, dude, the front gun is all touching. But basically landed short. Come back, Republic. Will this even hit him? Oh, almost. Need to tame more to the right. Citadel is slightly above the water. Well, it could be slightly above. The question is, how big is, or how far is the torp out from the uh, citadel? Because on Kansas and Minnesota, it's thick. And I mean, Vermont looks pretty thick. Also, kind of disappointed you can't even get Vermont until next week to start the Bureau. Okay, let's run that back. Hopefully we don't get four DDs again and more cruisers and things we can actually shoot at. Okay, before I do, armor, let's see, how thick?
Actually, we could leave this. Oh, that is not a lot of space. Yeah, that's not a lot. Alright, quickly. Where is Candace? This thing barely gets it out, like... Almost never. Oh yeah, that's a much bigger space. Oh, yeah, this way's better. That is a huge space from the side of the ship to the citadel. And I would assume Minnesota, even bigger. But not Vermont. Vermont is too thick or too skinny actually oh minnesota is really big a really big gap really big gap and what is this oh like an additional armor plate to okay yeah so there's this armor plate as well so you have torp protection and this armor plate that's not actually part of the torp protection. Well, I mean, technically it is, but it's like on the inside. It's not technically touching the outside. And that's at basically the height of the citadel. 273 to 343. Every millimeter of armor slows down the shell by one meter per second. So 38 plus, let's just say 343. I mean like 400 meters per second slower. So it's definitely not reaching the Citadel. Does Brick have that armor thing? I don't know if I missed it. Okay, Brick does. One's a 406. But the gap itself isn't as nearly as a big... Plus, this is slightly above the waterline versus Kansas and Minnesota being waterline. Okay, well, that's good to know. Feels bad for whoever just started Montana. They might as well start brick. There we go, one DD and a bunch of things we can smash. You would think with the more narrow profile she would be faster. Dude, imagine if this was like a uh, constellation. Constellation going like 33 for how big it is. Give Vermont an engine boost when? <laughs> I mean, it also doesn't help that we have drill bits. Otherwise, we'd be going like, what, 25, 26? Which honestly isn't that bad. Eh, more 25 I think. I think we did 24-2 base. Something like that. Yamato. Sick, one sit. Uh oh, spotted by their DD. 
Save me, Schlieffen. Get your sonar on. No, no sonar? Uh, he's a little angled away and turning. Uh oh. There's. Sh well. Seems like Schlieffen should have should have had sonar sooner, considering the cap was being contested. Seems like Shima messed up a little. I wonder if he tried to go for the ramp. Reload brick. Oh, he's turning in. Boo. Do your model turn away? Surely. Come on, brick speed. Three, six, seven. One more thing is not yet been spotted. I need fire support. Surely he realizes there's a destroyer and starts angling to torps. Surely Shima didn't miss his torps, right? Uh oh, Conqueror. Go away, Conk. Man, the fact that our team was sitting there, hiding behind that island, even though, uh, you know, there's no destroyer there, kind of tragic. And now we're in a bit of trouble because of that. He's still shooting each E, good. Too bad Conk Citadel's under the water, too. Come on, turrets, turn back. Okay, maybe I should go back to turret traverse so I could have ridiculous turret traverse when shooting at battleships. RN Jesus, please. Only one tragic brick. Brick couldn't get it done.
Come back, Yamato. It might be a little too broadside. Can I get you right through your booty? It's kind of flat. Oh, we're getting pens. Should go forward. Especially because Kong's reversing. Rear turret dispersion, please. No, can't hit his flat booty anymore. No, he's still alive. I'm definitely dead for Kong's next salvo. Turn guns. They're not turning fast enough. Okay, maybe we do go back to turret reverse mod. Dude, they're still sitting here. Hello? If only they pushed in. I wouldn't have had to deal with Conk. But they're all hiding. Which is to be expected on patch day. Although that one salvo on the broadside Yamato at like, what is it, 4 km? 5? And only getting one sit. That was super. Especially with the spotter. That was actually really tragic. Maybe the spotter made it worse. What's up, Popcorn? Play on patch day is pure suffering. You'd rather watch people suffer. Not false. Battle starts. Okay, one radar potential. Oh, two radars potentially four. Got a lot of Minotaurs today. Z44 and Shima, two easy kills. I wonder, can we actually run like rudder or RGA on this and still out spot DDs because of our sonar? I mean, we're at 5-1 with Bay, so I'm sure we could. Boost activated. 
Oh, he died. Is he in the cap or is someone else? It was him. Am I out spotting it? No, I think he's still spotted by radar. I probably could have started shooting. Oh, no way. Is he gonna eat my torps that are meant for the Minotaur that it's already dead? This guy is not getting away. We sunk an enemy destroyer. Oh, I just realized there's a Giuseppe right there. He has radar. Uh oh, did I just reverse into that? No, we're good. We're good. We're good. I mean, we know Monty's here. That would have been the only reason that happened. It's because of Monty. Alright, Giuseppe, do you have a radar? Enemy cruiser sighted. That's not my fire. Did I not set him on fire? Surely Hayati doesn't lose to a Shima. Uh oh. There's just set these radar. Oh, uh, he underled that. I shouldn't have slowed down. Critical engine damage. Ohio secondaries are not shooting. Ships from all the way across the map are shooting me. Do they not have anything else to shoot at? I mean, I would assume not. Let's start fooling around with the other flank. Yes, Giuseppe, straight lines. Now I regret not putting them both on the line. Enemy battleship sighted. He's flooding. I hope this Minotaur does not have a radar. Oh, good. He smoked up. Okay, we are close to Stalingrad. 
Is he slowing down? Uh oh, is he turning? No, don't turn yet. Not yet, Izumo. Just keep sailing in a straight line for me. Straight lines are fun. Yeah, yeah, use that armor. Nothing can pen you. Keep sailing straight. I just realized their DD's also in the cap. Our team is taking the lead. Yes, straight lines, BB. Dude, poor Shimo. Spotted by Sonar before I got spotted. Enemy destroyer sunk. Yeah, yeah, blind fire. Don't worry about the things that are actually spotted. I don't know if we have enough angle. Uh oh. Stalingrad radar. Enemy battleship foundered. Founderered. Can I survive? 45! Is he gonna keep blind firing though? Why don't you worry about the thing in front of you? There you go. Okay, 4 9 sonar. He's definitely running his sonar. Get him, Schlieffen. Yes, Citadel in. Alright, GG. Our victory is in sight. Capture that area. Z52, it's 128's R quarter pen. So you have quarter pen, and also good AP. Not improved pen angles, but like the alpha is pretty high. Honestly, whenever I'm in these new ships, I should probably play a little more intelligently. Because it's the new ships, so we're going to get uh, focused whenever we get spotted. Ends in five minutes. Forty-five HP and a dream. Get him. Nice. Well done, team. Alright, did we reach 35? Or 30? Not what I'm, I don't know what I'm saying. 3k? Not quite 3k. Needed more objectives. Do two minutes sonar though, basically six KM. That's actually so good. Now buff GK sonar, please. One minute is too short.
I can slot Jin Bing. You know, I actually probably could. I mean, considering we have 5 on detection right now, it'd probably go up to like 5 3, 5 4. Not having Sorsky. And then not having Sorsky, I mean, we still have Stealth Sonar. Actually, might be pretty spicy. I mean, we could probably run Mortar as well. Get that Ichi Alpha up a little bit. Oh, I might want to try Mortar. Alright, Zal, 30 millimeters, but we can overmatch. Press, we can overmatch anyway. I forgot to switch to Tur Traverse mod. Okay, please don't be anything dangerous in that right spawn. Okay, if I'm spotted, DD went into B. You're spotted? How? Yeah, yeah, game return, Montana. Or I should just shoot GK. Oh, there's the DD. Oh, Shema spawning all the torps. Shim was still spotted. No, oh, cancel his turn. I really hope our Shima doesn't die. He's still chasing, he's at a disadvantage chasing. He's not disengaging. Okay, so we angle away from the Shima and we hope that they end up pushing.
can use in my detection. Oh man, there is no running away from a Shima, not in this thing. We're way too slow. Yeah, this kind of sucks. We're not going to really be able to reposition nice work. to try and get broadsides on these guys while they're sitting bowing. I think going forward, we're going just as fast as other battleships bowing reversing. <laughs> so the hopes of doing a drive-by in this thing is like non-existent. Oh, he's paying attention. Shame. There's torps. Is he moving forward? I can't tell. Definitely gonna need their uh, Arshima to get over here. And not chase one battleship at the back. This is not looking good for our team. I think I should just switch to Ichi. Everything is just bowing. Oh, Shima's in B? Thirty-six to fifty? That was twenty-four K in the superstructure. Wait, unless that's Zhao in the cap and Didi's still chasing. Could actually be Zhao. Also, I think GK has skill to rebuild. Oh, yeah, it is Zhao. Oh, Shimo, don't get yourself killed. Okay, he definitely has skill to rebuild. Game return? Not a game return. Oh, our Shima's gonna try to YOLO Zal. Okay, I think it's GG. He got death struck. Well, now we just have a bunch of bow and ships and a shima that can't be dealt with. Oh, there he is. Sick, no flood. To free hundred K damage. <laughs> Cause he can't do anything. Well, maybe cut on the Montana. Although him ramming he's now angling.
Gamer turn Montana go broadside. Yes. Yes. Some more. Oh, it turned into that. Oh, it ran out. Oh, we have a radar cruiser. We'll switch to Ichi. He activated sonar. Interesting. Oh, yikes. Honestly, we were winning on points. Which is kind of impressive, all things considered. Can I get a fire? One fire? a lot of damage in our superstructure. Yep, couldn't kill the GK. He was in skill 3 build and the other battleships that we had didn't focus him. But aside from that, Shima that spawned with us kept chasing their Shima into their spawn and died. And then once that happened, we were left alone with nothing to do against them. Before I forget. Actually, what if we run this? More torp damage and speed. Had a shot of winning it for Worcester didn't get Dev Truck. Possibly. Probably could have helped farm the GK or something. Get some of the ships and skill to rebuild off the board. But also, the Shima ended up going to the cap right where the Worcester was as well. Okay, a lot of battleships. Good. One radar. Good.
I have not played Schroeder yet. I'm currently having fun with the new legendaries since I only have them for two weeks. I wonder how many people would run a torp build on Z52. gonna be very tragic and sad you're gonna see a lot of torp build z52s sailing around objectives and not into objectives with their sonar i feel it Oh man, they had to have the Worcester here. Okay, well we know one DD's here. Hydroacoustic search activated. Good thing Worcester's behind that island. Although I don't know where the DD went. Going around? Huh. It's DD AFK? So I think it's still pointing at Worcester. He's spotted. Is he spotted by Schlieffen? This might have been an unfortunate waste of sonar. Oh, the other DD abandoned this flank and went to the other side? Unless this was a three battleship spawn. Actually going forward. Okay, he's speeding up. We missed. Well, he'll probably trade with our Rupert. Got him to turn broadside. Two battleships just smash this guy. I don't think their guns are loaded though. Okay, unfortunately, he got away. Shimma killed a Rubric. Surprised he doesn't have sonar on right now. are good. Alright, 
time to go to the other side. See if we can do with two of their destroyers. So there's that 44 left. And I'm not going to waste my time chasing two ships to the corner. That's a terrible idea. Our Petro is so far. Okay, so we can't count on his radar. Nate, thanks for becoming a member. Yeah, I currently have the most critical guys on. Said, why are you shooting? Why are you shooting? Nice work. Why would you shoot? He is already flooding. Come on, team, get him. Critical engine damage. <laughs> you think? Now he's turning away. Stern, please get off the island. Oh, he slammed on the brakes. Well, now Petro pushed in. Kind of unfortunate timing. Detected.
Alright, well, hopefully this helps uh, Petro enough. One, did he DCP? Okay, you DCP'd. Oh, Petro's dead. We have points, I just need to find their shimmer. He might be gone. All right, objective. Is that fifty two AA, surely? Shimmer's chasing the battleships. Well, in that case, I'll just stay here and cap. I'll just ping down here. Alright, he turned into them. Good. No floods though, that is kind of tragic. Oh, Montana, don't eat torps? So if I turn left and I get away from their Marco Polo from shooting, then I should be fine to farm this Yamato. shoot. Yes, speeded. He DCP'd. And now we just drive away. Got a lot of caps. Ultimate cap contesters at 52. Probably won't even reach the cap before the game ends. Oh, there's Shima. Cool. 
Oh, barely under 3k. Alright, back to brick. Okay, but I need to remember the next time I play Z52, I need to put on Mortar. See what our detection is. And if our uh, sonar is still going to be able to spot for us if we're outspotted. Minotaur and a Colbert. We can't overmatch Colbert, but if we can catch it broadside. Who's a commander? I'm using Irik Bay. Bay with Sims and Sorsky. Okay, I'm concerned that this is epicenter and our Shema doesn't look like he wants to go to the middle. But I think theirs is. Gonna be able to shoot him. And spotted by the DD in the middle. Time to start turning. Hawk shooting EP. Good thing it's short fuse. Smash. We sit it out him. How broken is Vermont? Since when does Conks get sit it out? Shima wasted a smoke. Team, shoot him. If we can get rid of him, we can move freely. I'm probably hitting the island. Yeah, those are all hitting the island. Well, we know where he is. Now to push in and try to get a crossfire on the left. Surely plain spots Montana. Didi's back in the cap butter shimmers going all the way to the flank.
Maybe the Shima will reverse out just far enough for him to reverse the smash. Although we might not even have to. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's going the other way. Smash, sits, surely. Oof, no sits, but that's a lot of damage. Okay, let's see if I can get rid of the other conk. Or the Minotaur. Surely there's one Citadel in there. No, just one pen. Uh oh, spotted. So Shima can now tort me. But our Shima's for some reason going even further away from them. Shima's like smack dab in the middle of the cap. Four of our team is dead and we haven't killed anything yet. And those conks are still alive. Keep cross firing the left because of the shimmer. Yeah, because that Montana survived too. I guess nothing died. Oh, there's the shimmer. Can we kill him off now? Four overpins. Uh, only one, not other salvo. Probably shouldn't have reverse that our damage con. So now we have that conk to worry about. Okay, we have a Worcester, so I mean, there is hope of finding the DD. Not a lot, because of how far he is, but there is some. Dude, our Shima's been twerping from max range this whole game. Uh-oh, spotted.
Dude, Shima, can you play the objective, please? Belt, please. Shame we flooded. Shima's chasing all the ships in their spawn. Alright, we just need to go. Should be a dead conch, though. Do this Shima being able to freely torp without being spotted because they're Shima? And also, Worcester's nowhere to be found? Kind of a problem. I don't know if that's getting over that island. Hopefully it does, and hopefully we can get rid of Colbert. He's going to be such a problem later. Good. And our Shima's way off in the boonies. Just need our Worcester to radar the DD so we can kill him. Jesus. Dude, what's there? I need you to radar the cow? Shim is somewhere in front of me. Hello, what's there? Imagine if you get step struck right now. Oh, there's radar, but he's further behind me. It's way too far from the middle. I have some hope that Shimma gets spotted at like the last second. Probably not, though. And Worcester cock blocked me. Am I dead? Might be dead because he blocked me for no reason. Oh, I'm still alive. Uh oh. Yamato had his rear turret, and those are all touching. Good job, Worcester. Actually fighting against their own teammates. Damn, if only Shima just stuck around the cap and didn't go on a adventure. Vermont does not have the propulsion thing from PC. Vermont on PC has uh, the battle cruiser propulsion, and you can't slot prop mod, but we can slot it, so it's not the battle cruiser propulsion. Such a shame too, that uh, Shema was so low.
Shimmer was busy, please leave a message. But his but his voicemail box was full, so we can't. Daring. Okay, hopefully he's at A. And then we can see. I forgot to put mortar. But then at least we can see uh, how it goes. Is Schroeder any good? I'm assuming you mean Schroeder, not. But, uh. I don't know, I haven't even played it yet. I've been having too much fun in Z52 in Vermont. Well, as much fun as we can have when trying to, you know, fight our teammates to try and win. But so far I've been enjoying them, both. Z52 more so though. Okay, one DD and B. Hydroacoustic search activated. Colbert. Okay, so no DD spawned here. So in that case, I'm gonna start getting ready to go to B. Oh, did I just potato out of the cap? Surely not. Oh, we're good. Oops. Dude, Daring has like zero chance. I mean, it would be good if our teammates started shooting though. And not at the very last second when he has a sliver of HP. Okay, they're shooting but they're missing. He's not running his sonar. He didn't have his sonar running. Interesting. Uh oh. Palmer does though. Our team is taking the lead. Engine boost deactivated. Fire alarm. I wasn't paying attention to where the Palmer was. Critical engine damage. And now we have the Colbert to worry about. Uh oh, I'm on fire. Fire alarm. We're so close to escaping. Problem solved, sir. Okay, well we lost a lot more HP than I wanted to. Good thing is though, there is no radar. And I still have one more smoke and sonar to fight the other DD. So even having this low HP, even if Z44 is full HP, I don't really have anything to worry about. Enemy battleship detected.
Oh, he's full gamer training. Surely Musashi just smashes him. Although it looks like he's reversing away from that flank. So maybe he lost his shot. Was not expecting him to full game return. I thought he was just going to bow in on the island. Hayate is abandoning, trying to fight their Shimo. Oh, there we go. Musashi pushed back forward. Oh yeah, Montana. Okay, I guess Ohio didn't have anything to shoot at. Well, this is, uh, GG. I don't know why that Daring didn't have sonar. Like, even when, uh, if he ran it from the start, I mean, it's three minutes. And I'm pretty sure I found them within three minutes. And I also forgot to put mortar. I need to put mortar. Hydroacoustic search activated. Mirror's at 44. Oh, what did I press X for? Okay, this is not what's supposed to be happening. Okay, let's see. If we run mortar, 5 7 detection, but we have 5 9 sonar. Have I tried a rune sonar build with it? I have not. Which of the new collabs? Are you talking about which of the the guises they added? One radar. Hmm. Well, the thing is, I know who they all are. Action stations. Hmm. 
<laughs> Even Snap Snap. <laughs> of all things. The Minecrafter. Okay, we're definitely going to be outspotted by Shimmer. The thing is, we still have Sonar to deal with that. Hopefully, Des Moines is not on this side. Three battleships spawned here. Okay then. There's probably one coming from that way though. I won't go straight in yet. Even though I want to. Shima. Oof. Okay, unfortunately I got pushed out of my smoke. But that's okay. Did Schlieff and Secondaries just shoot me and set me on fire? So far Schlieff and Secondaries did more damage to me than the Shima did. Schlieff and Zen are spawn already. Uh oh, Ohio sped up. Hopefully, still catch him though. Couple? Two? Maybe three? Two. Enemy battleship detected. So unfortunately, we couldn't kill off a DD, and now we have one sonar left. I don't have a smoke, I use it.
Oh, Schlieffen, did you push out too far? Are you about to get nuked by... Oh, never mind, he shot. Oh, he hit a torp. He's super low. Yeah, he definitely pushed out too far. This cob does not have twist and track. Oh, there's a shimmer. Okay, what is this guy's smoke firing penalty? Enemy destroyer sighted. Alright, Shima's dead. Now they have no DDs left. Surely Shima can actually YOLO something though? Trade? Nice. And he's still alive. Now we just go torque these guys. Okay, I need to remember 5-7. Okay, their Des Moines is kind of low. Oh, he full turned in. Burger didn't though. Oh wait, I can't watch those. Two? Oh, he's so low. Someone's probably gonna finish him off. Is he using his radar yet? Not quite. During Misty Wami? Battle ends in five minutes. And Ohio did a full U turn. Did not expect that. Well, in that case.
Oh, Ohio's also shooting me. Shima died. How oh, did Shima die? Okay, now this was shooting is a mistake. Oh, we got him on fire. Well, he's trading if we die. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Oh, Shima went for the YOLO while he was shooting me. Oh, never mind. He got spotted at the island. Oh, that's a GG. Probably didn't have to shoot. But considering we have a lot of full HP things still. Okay, I don't know if using mortar is worth it. I mean, when we had the AP on the Shima, though, it smashed. I don't know. Maybe. Did I pull Ohio record game in Vermont? No, not yet. We had one good game earlier, but then our teammates inted and we died. Three DDs with two of them. No. Oh. They're in a division. So what are the chances we actually get DD support on our side? Probably like zero, right? Do all of our DDs have three bars? Z44 has four. I think Holland starts with four bars, so he's probably using that concealment skill that reduces your HP. Actually, it might not matter. We do have a Worcester. But if he ends up being like 20 KMO HE spamming, then that's not going to go well. Uh oh. Plane spotted. Not ship spotted. Plane. Oh, only one. <laughs> that Montana lost all his HP. Alright, our whole team is coming this way. Let's reposition to the middle. Spotted. Unspotted. So where are we spotted from? Could it be the gap in those islands? Uh oh, spotted again. 
Okay, I'm probably too far for any of the battleships to shoot. If they have more than 20 km, they are doing something extremely wrong. Keep getting spotted and unspotted. It has to be there, right? There's nowhere else that I could be getting spotted and unspotted like that. You left the cap. Spotted. Dude, I don't even know what's happening. Uh oh, our DDs are just charging in. Without any help. Pass the objective into the spawn. So are they just dead? Maybe they just yoloed in because they're friend DC'd or something. This is not looking very good. Hala needs to push through the middle or through A. Nothing is spotted. So now there's a destroyer in B. What is Holland doing? Alright, I think I just have to charge in and make something happen, otherwise, it's just a loss. Because our Holland is not going through. There's no spots. Other flank folded. Because our DDs yellowed in and died without killing anything. Alright, we just go for it. If we die, we die. Okay, why is our Shima going back into our spawn? Okay, I think this is so far the worst team of today. Anyone else doing game returns? No? Ugh, he went unspotted. Shame. Oh, now he's spotted. And there's the DD. Patch day woes. Can I load in time? No, I think he's going too fast anyway. Oh, one turret got out and they're all touching. Uh, and it landed short. Tragic.
From all the games, Vermont doesn't impress you. See, I don't think Vermont is bad. I just think it's very hard to do things when it's mostly steamrolls and there's five destroyers. That might actually be good. XP. Also, no radars. They don't have any DDs with sonar either. I think I just go straight into the middle. Cap contest. Although if we kill their only DDs that play the objective, we'll probably win on points before we can do anything fun. I got a wife and kids at home and I plan on seeing them. Let's win this. <laughs> a wife and kids at home and I plan on seeing them. Okay, so far that's a good uh Good voice line. Dude's getting into that role playing experience. Something smoked. Someone fat finger? Okay, DD is on this side. Dude, that's half his HP gone. Do we have ZF6 like fuse or like anything? Free gearing smoke? Don't mind if I do. It's a lot of DDs though. Maybe I should put on the guy for the pen angles. Okay, Z44 has problems. Now this Z44's turn. Front guns, please. Okay, Charlie's voice 
voiceover is actually kind of good. There's some silly things like, uh, like the Hollow Life stuff. I don't know what that was. Speaking gibberish, and then he said something. Okay, Charlie's is good. Now the question is, what else? Uh oh, Montana, please don't hurt me. Aim assist? Yes. Okay, I wanted to smoke. Okay. So he's like 10 km away. Yeah, we're already almost at a thousand points. Once he killed all their DDs and there was nothing to contest, it's game over. They need to make this objective bigger. So battleships can be in it without being dead in like a minute. Tears of the desert, actual tears. Okay, how much penning do we get from 7 degrees? Okay, but if we use mortar, same detection as our sonar. It's not worth it though. I mean, it could swap out Sims and keep Swarovski, but the HP is kind of important, especially if you're trying to take fights with destroyers. If you're going to be trading HP. Swap so in sims or no mortar. Well, we'll see how this works out. I mean, even though we're outspotted, I mean, usually at the start we'll still have, you know, our sonar, so it's fine. Late game, when our sonar is on cooldown or something, that could be a problem. But I don't think it will be. Oh man, we got mid. But we're the only destroyer. Why couldn't I have played Vermont and gotten mid? Honestly, I didn't like Z46 that much. Mainly because of the turret layout. Probably the only downside is at 46 really. Story about my childhood. Well, it's too bad cuz today's not the day for chit chat, sailor. We got a battle to win. <laughs> okay, Charlie's is actually good. I should throw on the other one and see what else they say. Too bad I can't on Vermont cuz it's New Jersey. to 
Which one is the best of the guys? I'm not sure. So far I've only used Charlie. I haven't tried out the others. Uh, but it sucks because we have we also have the Hollow Live guys that are pretty good. Because our voice lines are also silly. So I don't even know who they're gonna like where we're gonna put these guys is. Alright, where is their Worcester? Model Alaska's too far for radar. I don't want there to be a blister behind that island. Yeah, there is a blister behind that island. TV left the cap as well. Right outside Worcester's radar. Can someone delete him? Oh, there's his radar. And his radar duration is over. Getting over pens on a daring. Considering we we're like five cam away, we we're still getting over pens on him. trying to charge in. Is our battleship not of line of sight? Okay, Worcester is driving away. First set of torps looks pretty good. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Alright. Worcester is driving away. Now it's just they're daring somewhere. Daring is somewhere out there, and closer than your model. Roger. 
Alright, I'm out of pushed in a little too far. Alright, Torps could be good, but before I try to take a fight because my sonar is on cooldown, I might as well farm this Yamato. No way, there was a gap. Oh, that's tragic. Ooh, he's smoking up. Oh, speed up Zed. Gotta keep him in sonar. Dude, this sonar range is ridiculous. Okay, spotted by someone else, good. Okay, I was not expecting him to sail in a straight line. I thought he would turn away. Battle ends in five minutes. Against the fire. Good job, team. Okay, I might rather just keep concealment over the pen angles.
Okay, they're gonna drive away from us. Well, if they're gonna drive away, I just go to D and cap. Still take a wide approach to D, just in case they actually turned in. Although based on twist and track, they might not have. I mean, they have three minutes. I don't think they realize they have to kill us. Okay, so they went to C. They might kill our Yamato and Worcester if he decides to turn in. But even so, I mean, I'm just going to cap D and there's nothing they can do about it. What's up, Walter? Okay, Conk didn't even turn in. Where's this first round? He's gonna get death struck. Oh no, he overpinned. On our mind, he shot the Yamato. Well, Wilson's probably gonna die, but we were up too many points, so it didn't matter if they died. Thirty two hundred from playing objectives and fighting the DD. Z fifty two ultimate cap contester. Yeah, so far we're hundred percenting. Because we're doing our job. Okay, I kind of like Mortar, but I don't think we need the AP pen, the pen angle. Z52 kind of goaded though. Thing has huge carry potential. Okay, what if we don't use drill bits? I mean, we'll keep speed. 25 versus, what is it, 22? 
23. Uh, I don't know. I feel like the people are like sitting bowing and reversing and spawn will love Vermont. Because they don't need to move at all. So being slow doesn't matter. Here we can overmatch the deck. Oh, look, Aaron's on the other team. Okay, we have a Salem and Hayate Div. You would imagine they'd be able to do their job and take care of DDs, right? Uh oh, three bar Sumner. That's worrying. He is also AFK. Can I give him a little bump forward? Just, just, oh, never mind, he started moving. DG. FDG gamer turn. Did I stay on the pack? Yeah, I do hate losing to Aaron. He's gonna message me later and clown if I lose. Something with smoke, DD's there. Alright, Sumner, I trust. Oh, look, there's Aaron. Cheeky. Model sort of broadside, not really. Yeah, we're shattering. Want Salem get in there so you can radar? If you're not spotted, just push in to this island. That's what we need you to do. Oh, he had a torp. Oh, there's Yugamo. Alright, now I get to lob. Three, four battleships. One more is unspotted. Oh no, it's spotted on the other side. We're good. Come 
Come on, Salem, get in there so you can help our destroyer. Get him, Sumner. I have to be careful of the other destroyer now. So he went somewhere into their spawn. I don't know if he went to the right. to be careful how far I push though. Okay, so Aaron is further away than the Yamato. Oh, there he is. Does Yamato have skill to rebuild? Seems like it. Alright, let's turn our guns and deal with this FDG while they run. Oh good, he did die. That was a citadel. I don't know if that was Iron or the Yamato. Then again, this thing is basically a circle. So there is no such thing as angling. Okay, Aaron's too far to shoot me now. Time to go to the other side, I guess. Imagine if Aaron had like some meme range build right now and he could actually reach me. FDG dead? He's dead. Well that's a GG. What kind of cruises do you have? Henry and A gear. Actually, if their DD somehow gets to our cap, that might not be GG. Not the competitive showdown you were hoping for. I think the problem was Aaron and Yamato turned away and was unable to help the Yugamo, whereas our Yamato and I pushed in. Then I did some damage to the Yugamo, and I'm sure the Yamato shot him when he was kiting out on the flank. And I think his first salvo over the island at me instead of our DD could have also contributed to that. But then again, I don't know if he could even shot our DD. Okay, there's a Henry. 
but we need to angle to Aaron. 30 millimeter doesn't matter to Vermont. I think I can dev strike him to the blue. I think I'm gonna dev strike you through the bow. Or you're just gonna turn broadside. I'll take that as well. Ugh. Oh. Tragic. Okay, well, someone else is gonna kill him. Stalingrad doing a good job of chasing the DD though. Plus one to him. Yes, Aaron, please. Heal a little bit so I can get a Dev Strike medal out of this. No Dev Strike met. Uh oh. Dude, no flood. Honestly, I forgot how far the torp belt even went up to the bow. You almost have an icebreaker in this thing. But that's what also makes this a circle. Honestly, Aaron was probably doing the uh, send me back to port and end the game quicker thing. Because uh, a 3 versus 8. Yeah, definitely not fun. You're trying to get... Yeah, I assume so. I was hoping you had a heal. And you healed up just enough to 50% that I could get a death strike medal out of it. Eager? Game return? Eager, game return, front guns are all touching. Not really all touching, but enough. Oof. Oof. Stay broadside, Eager. I think I get one more shot. Or just my rear turrets, my front guns don't load in time. Smash through the deck, please. Yes. Shoot me, Eager. Reset me. We're not getting reset. Shame. Hey, we finally broke 3k in this thing. And also broke 200k. Like, the fact that Aaron had to run the whole time after his DD died, but he still plays second. Feels bad, man. Don't worry, I've had those teams today too. Honestly, I feel like if they ever do the thing where you can just re without having the battle end, it would probably be a lot better. Especially whenever your team's getting steamrolled, you could probably just back to port and re for a more fun experience. <laughs> Still annoyed that we didn't Death Strike Blue, though. Left them on a sliver of HP. You're <laughs> a Vermont main XP contributor to the red team? Oh no. Surely it's not that bad.
Dude, all although, dude, all these ships are getting more and more HP. Ohio had the previous highest HP at Legendary Tier, and now Vermont. I mean, GK is supposed to have 105, 800. And what does Kremlin have? Like 110? No, 108? I can see in the future a triple Vermont Div or something. And a Shima just freely torping them, dude. Easy 300k. RNG just needs to be on your side. I don't have for Christmas later, so you already have Vermont. Dude, poor Montana. First, I got power crept by Ohio, and now Vermont. I mean, it's kind of the same, same situation on PC. Montana is just so mid. Especially with more 30 millimeter uh, armor cruisers coming out, Zhao, Henry. I imagine Des Moines might get 30 at some point in the future. Not that it needs it, but for consistency reasons for heavy cruisers, possibly. Then Montana, even GK. We'll just suffer. Get or no get Vermont? I'd say get Vermont. Although I'd say Colombo over Vermont, but I don't know what they're going to do to nerf it. If the nerf isn't too bad on Colombo, then Colombo's still better than Vermont, I think. Just because how ridiculous the smoke firing penalty is and the ability to push in 360 turrets. It works. Okay, I really hope Alaska's not here. Oh, Alaska is here. I don't think he knows we have a six cam sonar. Also, his engine's out. His engine's out and I'm bleeding too much. I think that was a gearing with him, wasn't it? Enemy battleship detected. Oh, there's the radar. Turn away, turn away, turn away, turn away, turn away. Oh wait, he went that way. Oh, we're good. Also gearing, smoking up, can't hide from sonar. Other teams folding. GK, do a full turnout. It might be bound reversing. Alright, continue on to sea, I guess. 
torp this reversing GK in the meantime. Oof. Our team is taking the lead. Okay, he's probably gonna reverse and then turn away from Aegir. Or to Aegir. And go more broadside to Aegir. Okay, now my torps are gonna miss. Okay, his secondaries aren't shooting, so not even Dipper. Accuracy build GK. Five minutes, five people dead. And no one on our team dead. Yikes. Still one DD, he's not in A. Dude, these guys are hiding in the island on the very corner. Ten eight range. Okay, someone needs to remind me to switch the guys to someone else, so we can hear what else the others have to say, and not just Charlie. Alright, AP from max range on a Montana. No, no, don't turn yet. Don't angle. He's angling. Ooh, don't do that. Turn away. Turn away. Get scared and turn away so I can see what pens look like. Pens look pretty nasty. What if I just slam on the brakes? Dude, where's their destroyer at? There's just nowhere to be found. Did he just AFK and go to the corner? Oh, there's Torps. Maybe he's on the border right, right there. No, Montana, don't go broadside to our battleships. Go broadside to me. shame what's the lowest concealment probably just under five I mean with bay with Swirsky I mean we're at 5-1 if we used the pan Asian torp guy because he does like 2% and also Blue or uh, 
I don't even remember. What is the German's dude's name? Oh, Spey. Spey. If you use this. This is so not worth it, though. You lose so much HP for, like, 0.1 Kim detection. It's not worth it. Because it's only 2%, so 0.1 kilometers of detection more, but you lose 10% of your HP. This skill is not worth it. And yet we see so many people using it, especially on like shimmas or gearings and summoners and gunboats. Okay, let's change this. All right, who to go next? Mate shot. No, we'll do we'll do neat mate shot. Actually, before I start the next one, though, I might as well go look at the skins, right? I haven't done that yet. Pensacola. Okay, I mean, it looks... I like that it's black and then it has the orange that's glowing. But I somewhat feel like the glowing portion could have been a little more detailed. Because it kind of looks fuzzy. Rem reminds me of that one Fortnite skin from like Season 2, the Space Dude. I don't know if any of you know what I'm talking about. There was that one... It was like a Space Astronaut Season. Wait, we don't have the New Mexico one, right? I think it was that other guy. The sixth person that we don't have. Oh, Fubuki free premium camel? Okay, this fire one's kind of cool, but I wish it was glowing. Dude, imagine if this was, um, like Heat Ray. Bro, if it was like Heat Ray... Like how it's kind of a glowing-ish blue. Like it's not just, you know, a blue color. A matte blue. Like it's actually glowing. Oh, man. Missed opportunity. Like if it was glowing orange. Kind of like the, the Pensacola one. Dude, that would have been so sick. Okay, Leander. Who is Leander? Whose ship skin is Leander? Is it Courage? Lion's Crest. Which one's Lion's Crest? Oh, there, wait. Oh, yeah, it is Courage. Gives me Azurlene vibes. Okay, and then there's also Byron. Oh man, but this historical camel looking like Oigan and Bismarck though. It looks so good. <laughs> there's no way there's a picture of him on the thing. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of funny. There's actually a picture of him on it. <laughs> Dude, but the fishes though? Okay, this one's not bad. No, wait, he's on the deck? <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. Oh, look at him with the ukulele. Dude, that's so funny. Okay, I actually like this because it's so funny. Okay, and the last... Normandy. I don't even have a skin, so free skin. Oh wait, I had this. Alright, what do you look like? Okay. I don't know if I like that bronze color. 
But the guns, how they're glowing, that's actually cool too. Very, uh, Ohio Christmas event skin looking. I think this little design in the middle should have also been green and glowing. I think it needs a little more. I guess it's not bad, I guess. Do but the Byron one. Byron and Pensacola, so far my favorite. Byron over Pensacola just because of Moist Critical being on the ship. Hang on, I gotta go double check. Did I miss any others having their picture somewhere? Do we have the lion thing? No, not on this. Fubuki, probably not. And I think the Pensacola was just black and orange. There's a 467 on that side, but not on the other. I wonder what the uh, that one dude that PC gets that we don't. It has a skin for the New Mexico. I wonder what that looks like. I wonder if that one also has a picture of the dude. Ron Statue of Liberty vibes for the Norm Beatty true. Okay, I think I've played enough Z52 in Vermont. Time to meme with Funny Button German Cruiser. Alright, hold on. Stats at its base. 18 second reload. Okay. Okay, 7700 for 305s. Hager's at 91. 77. Is that Kaiser or Koenig? I mean, I know the guns are comparable to these low tier German battleships, 81. No, Koenig would be also not 81, right? Durflinger? Because I know they're supposed to have like less AP pen than Or it's like the EP pen is comparable to these lower tier German battleships. Kind of like Anult. Okay, so it's actually less. Secondaries though, 6-8, 3-4, 6-6. Okay, let's see. If we put on Hide, which honestly is the best secondary commander if you're trying to do it on these things, the large cruisers. Concealment 11 3, secondaries would be 10 7? 10 8. I wonder. What if we did Ciliax with the thing that just does more range? 11 1 to 11 3. But what if. What if we trade for Runa for Nikawa for detection? How close is our secondaries then? 10 4. 10 6. 0.2 difference in range. Okay, so if we did Ciliax. With the range, I mean, obviously, Porcupine, kind of important, because it does grouping and dispersion, including range. Do we have further secondaries, then? 10-6, 10-6. 
I mean, you could get it there, but I don't think it's not worth it, though. Because you're not going to have the accuracy. This thing has an engine boost? Well, too bad we're using funny button. Okay. But also, Hyde has... Marksman that works on all ship types. Alright, for the memes. At least that. Alright, stats now. 63. Short range, that's fine. 10 8 secondaries. How many do we have? 21 28s and 9 150s. Okay, where are they located? One of them is center ship, yeah. Alright, let's hope we don't get bad RNG for our secondary HP. Because if we do... <laughs> and they all die to one HE salvo from like another cruiser. Then this build is rip. But maybe they just baked it in, who knows. Because it feels like Ohio secondaries don't die nearly as fast as Massachusetts. So maybe they just threw in some under the hood unnoticed stats. Another Schro Actually, this is the first Schroeder I've seen today. Unless I'm blind and there was a Schroeder. But I'm pretty sure that's the first one on the other team. Okay, we have 305s. Can overmatch Brisbane. I forgot to look at the armor. Does this thing have an icebreaker? I would assume it does, but Aegir and Siegfried don't. And I don't even know what the values are. Probably 30 deck. Or like 27 bow or something. Ooh, these firing angles are... Rear turret is 360. <gasps> oh. Okay. Twenty-seven bow, fifty-two deck. Okay, is there an icebreaker? Does anyone know? Okay, accuracy looks pretty decent. Oh, that's just one salvo. Plus, probably new ship RNG. slow down oh that's a lot of shells go funny button please don't kill my secondaries with that he okay nothing died yet yes this guy doesn't have a secondary build Bro, dude, the secondaries. We finally have a cruiser that has good secondaries. Although I'm getting shot at by absolutely everyone, I probably should have turned out. But like for the meme of secondary shooting. Okay, our shorter secondaries are definitely more accurate than PC though, because we actually have commander skills that affect secondaries four cruisers all right can i go and spotted yes although i'm gonna get spotted by yamato real soon just don't mind me 
I don't exist. Oh, I think I went too far, too much broadside. Okay, never mind, we're good. Oh, yikes, he got dev struck. Holy. Bro, AI gaming is real. Dude, more secondary ships is good. Ooh, 128's on a Des Moines, though. I should probably be careful because I don't know where their DD is. Oh, there, there's, there's Torps. There's Torps. No, my secondaries are finally dying. Oh, there's Gearing. Uh oh, he reversed back out. Come on, funny button. Kill the Gearing for me. Oh, dude, clutch smoke? If the, if the Moin doesn't have sonar? Oh wait, he's radaring though. Does anyone wanna go after that gearing though? There are problems. Oh yes, yeah, sonar on. Okay, he definitely just torped. Hopefully someone can kill that Yamato. Oh, hello there. Gearing, you're spotted. <laughs> oh no. Drive by? Drive by, drive by. He's reversing too fast though. Unless he goes forward away from DD, that's currently going from behind. I'm just gonna hold my shot. Well, surprise the moin, there's a shimmer right next to you. Rip. Bro, aggressive cruiser play possible. Dude, this thing's kind of cracked for secondaries, I'm not going to lie. Come here, Brisbane. Front guns? Oh, never mind, he's dead. Also, this thing is pretty tanky. I mean, as long as they don't shoot your bow. And as long as you're angled and moving and not stationary.
Hmm. I think I like this more than A gear just because of the secondaries. I know it doesn't have torps. And nearly as consistent guns. But like the firing angles are pretty good. Okay, now that we have a fun secondary cruiser though, I could probably just put A gear back to like a AP ship with like Riegerwald. You're disappointed to see Schroeder added before Hindenburg. Well, see, Schroeder's not even a legendary, though. I think you should be more disappointed about Z52 or Vermont. Are these better than Mass or Napoli? Definitely better than Massachusetts. There's more. And they also have the pen. Napoli, probably better just because Napoli has no range. But Napoli has that built-in secondary accuracy. Oh, oh, check armor, check armor. Hold on. Ooh, no icebreaker. You can bounce. Ooh, 30 deck. But, you're not really going to be having as much of an issue with your 30 deck if you're actually close. Like in secondary range, battleships won't be having plunging fire hitting your deck. But then they could hit your bow, but if you're moving you'll be fine. Dude, we need secondary interest, the thing that Fernandez has on Atlantico. We need five funny buttons. If you don't get Hindenburg or Kremlin this year, you riot. Is there a special German holiday that you think they would, like how Americans have like 4th of July? Is there anything for German? Oh, maybe, when it, when is German Unity Day? I think that's something that we had a flag for in this in the past. Although if it's within the next like four months, probably not. If it's in like late summer or fall maybe honestly Hindenburg would be a cracked EG spammer Especially having the quarter pen, being able to pen, uh oh, CV. What is our AA like? I and mean, we have a lot of long range, but I don't know what our mid and short range is. I don't even see that many guns. Oh man, CV, now we can't play aggressive and push in for secondary fun. Hello there.
Okay, surely CV goes back. So one of those DDs don't have a smoke. Ooh, there's a Friesland there. Okay, that Jaeger's probably still gonna push out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, eight. Come on, Jaeger. I pressed Y, thinking I had Torp, so I could see his trajectory. Ah, oh, I wasted that. Oh wait, maybe not. No, the secondaries are landing short. Alright, secondaries, I'm gonna need you to destroy Atlantico secondaries, otherwise I'm gonna die. Ooh, someone touched Atlantico. Yes, secondaries are killing is. Still spotted by that other DD though. That's a problem. Uh oh. Dude, those black torps are so slow. Am I dead? Prop mod save me. Slow down to dodge Jaeger, but I slowed down for Black Torps. Tragic. We are also forced to go forward because of the carrier. Otherwise, we'd eat. What, three of his torps? Alright, back to Vermont or Zed. Okay, I have a good replay for that. Let's get a let's get a replay for Z fifty two. So that was more of an EG problem. I assume to BBs and Hindenburg would be. I think they're both problems in their own right. Hindenburg would be able to pen every single battleship's armor. Deck, upper belt, whatever. But Zhao is more of the set fires. Especially with Aela Tago. Uh oh, sweat div. Battle stars. Well, Zao versus the Des Moines, I think it depends on how far you are. <clears throat> like, if you're trying to Ichi spam each other at long range, Zao's gonna win all the time. But if Zao is close, where you're quick reloading, trolley disper- uh oh, lag. 
uh, trolley dispersion guns can actually land and your DPM actually works. The Moines should win. Dude, why am I lagging? This is Wargaming servers, not my internet. Yeah, I think their destroyers spawn middle and on the other side. So if that's the case, I think I just have to go to B. Yeah, they both spawn there. Gotta be careful of where that Alaska is though. So we'll definitely be in his radar range. Our FDD charge straight in. Why? Engine boost activated. I think the one upside of the sweat div is that they don't have a radar. Was that worth it, FDG? Hydroacoustic search activated. DD's left the cap. Their whole division Critical shot at me. Damage. That's wild. Well, if we can kill their whole team. Smoke generator started. Enemy destroyer blown up. Yikes. Uh-oh. Uh, we couldn't speed up in time. Well, that's tragic. Okay, I think having mortar in that situation was a bad thing, because we got spotted so far away. And unfortunately, it was always timing that their Chattington always had their guns loaded. Uh oh, might be the only loss, but it had to be against the sweat div. Surely our team can carry and keep our 100% win rate, right? Do I like the guises? Well, so far we've only used Charlie. Charlie's one is good. Haven't really had much opportunities to use the others because like you just use all the collab stuff. And you can't put those guys on the collab commanders. Triple Ohio Div. Surely we can catch them all broadside. Uh oh, looks like they're abandoning the flank. 
one turret's turn. He's flat broadside. Ooh, that accuracy though? Oh, he's turning. No, don't turn in yet, Ohio. Okay, looks like he's gonna bow in reverse. Spotted? Oh, by Alaska. Oh no, both of our flanks are not doing anything. So we're in the middle and we're gonna get crossfired badly. Alright, we're gonna need to death strike some things. Oh, DD, please don't eat those torps. Come on, Richard's turn. Egg your turn out. I know you want to. No, no, not in. Hello? Down reversing? I need intelligence data, teammates. Can't reverse too far, otherwise I might get death struck by those guys. Although this Alaska is just sailing flat broadside. Never mind he's turning. Bro, how far do our two battleships on the right need to reverse? If only they pushed in at the start, their Zed couldn't push through. Surely they're not in a division doing that, right? RNG this please. No, oh, one sit. Not enough, though. Are they in a div? They're not in a div. But what is that? Reversing, though? I did to Republic because I'm broadside. Basically. Shatter, shatter, shatter. Reload. I don't think I healed enough before his shells are gonna hit me. Shame. Both flanks abandoned, 
and then us being in the middle suffered. Okay, that's still in battle. What about the Schroeder? Schroeder is not. Maybe I'll go on the left. Still don't like this map. Uh oh, he's following me? Then we have to wait till our Darren gets here. What's up, Delima? Palmer's going that way. Okay, one set. I think Palmer's guns are facing the other way. He killed two of my secondaries with his AP. And they were the first hits I took from Minotaur. It's absolutely wild. There's also a Soyuz there. Uh oh, I Okay, his guns are facing the other way though. Dude, all of my secondaries are dying to AP. Model's turning his guns now. Oh, 
don't think our Des Moines realizes that there's a Yamato. Yamato missed. I only have two 128s left. No, maybe three. Yamato just shot. Oh, they both shot. I didn't think Soyuz could hit me over that island. Daring, how did you die? And why were you spotted? Auto two. Yeah, our battleships on the other side haven't done anything. This map is so trash. They didn't push in to help our DD and he died and now they're just hiding back here. They really need to take this out of rotation. DB's range inspiration? It's uh, Megatron and... Enrique Fernandez, two commanders that you have to pay for. Five thousand dubs, is that twenty bucks? I think it's twenty bucks. Yeah, twenty bucks. Alright, question. Was that Z52 game a loss? Yeah, it was a loss. Tragic. Oh, tragic. I died early and I'm third. Well, not much we were going to do against the sweat div. Four fifty sevens wouldn't have much range, but then the smaller caliber shells would have even less. Would it not? I mean, understandably, the cruisers on PC sucked. Well, they don't suck, suck, but they're a lot more difficult because of how much stronger battleships are. But then. When it comes to legends, the cruisers are basically all untouched. Basically. And then battleships, understandably, have less range. Because, honestly, I'd rather not have 20 km battleships sniping all the way at the back. Can you imagine bow and reversing battleships at 20 km plus? That'd be extra yikes.
But even then, I honestly feel like it's mainly the commander system that makes it worse. Too many gimmicky skills. Too many things that affect accuracy. Which honestly does make it more difficult for them to balance and release something that's not busted. For example, Kleber. Having a Torp commander with like ridiculously low reload and ridiculously low detection like it was doing stuff it shouldn't have been able to do turned a gunboat into a torp boat basically Oh, he's turning away. Boo. Yeah, still did some decent damage. Should I even be using a spotter on this? We only get one shot. Oh, we only have three. Would it be better to use a fighter for spotting? Oh, what I get spotted by? He's gonna turn away again, isn't he? Okay, there's apparently a DD by our Shima. And our Shima overextended kind of badly. He's landing one torp. Uh oh, I might have went too much broadside. Sleep into a gamer turn. Much sleep, and I know you want to. Gamer turn. No, he's charging straight in. Shame. Oh, he's broadside. That's another shame. Even has to turn to dodge at some point. He's definitely still running his sonar.
Okay, slowly but surely. Whittling the Schlieffen down. Oh, something's in our cap. I'm probably gonna get YOLO'd by the Z44 as well. Oh no, there he is. Oh wait, that's a gearing. There's another DD here. That dispersion looks so trolly. Okay, good. Oh, our Shima died though. You have an AFK Sumner? Where's our conk at? Okay, eventually conk will HE spam and uh, hopefully get rid of most of Schlieffen secondaries. Oh, there's that 44 he's on the other side. Dude, we have AFK DD. Well, that's not good. Alright, game return because we need to get back to our base. Because no one else did. Actually, I don't even know if I can. I mean, the Ponto's in there. Maybe Laponto and Conk got it. And our last DD died. Oh, he left the cap. Good. Oh, there he is. Oh, nice. Good. One less DD to deal with. Should be careful, you want me as torps.
Oh, you want me actually pushed out? Okay, Chattington first. Okay, there's a shot. Alright, Ray Turrets, you need to kill him. It didn't kill him. Definitely torps, no torps. They definitely would have been spotted by now. Rear turrets are gonna hit the island. Oh, nice. All right, run away. He's still in the smoke. think the Z44 can catch me in three minutes with how slow this thing is. I do play on Xbox. I know my consoles. I play on mobile. I play on the iPad. I get an hour of screen time every day. He's chasing me. Is my name Jason? No, no, Jason He. J He 808. Okay, this guy is not catching me.
All right. He didn't even break 2k. Only one person did. been like that all day yeah today has been a day of steamrolls a lot of days are just steamrolls Part of me kind of wishes we had the 150 version of Z52. Unless I'm crazy and there is no 150 version. Maybe there isn't a 150 version. Why do I recall a 150 version? Enemy force sighted on the horizon. Straight line Yamer Minotaur. What battleship's dispersion is that? That looks so bad. Hydroacoustic search activated. Enemy battleship detected. He's not slowing down. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. This is my cap. Tar can't help you anymore. Engine boost activated. He's not shooting, he's a torp build. No, nope, Shimma's here. It's not a Shimma, it's something else. It is a Shimma. I guess those are Minotaur Torps. Z52 is such a bully. Dude, what am I getting shot at from? Spawn? Duncan, bow and reversing. Okay. 
Okay, well this could be a problem. Dude, their battleship's positioning is so bad. Minotaur's coming back. Hopefully this guy doesn't have RGA. Ah, there you are. Overpens. Enemy destroyer founder. How much time is left in this smoke? Doesn't seem like much. Is it fading already? Oh, it faded already. Oof. Do you have a heal, Minotaur? No, oh, but he has a smoke. That he's probably not gonna stop? Enemy cruiser foundered. Dude, can that Columbo really not shoot at anything else? Well, I'm glad he wasted his salvo on me. Gives our Leponto a better chance. Dude, he's still reversing. Oh, Columbo's probably going to wrap. Moving forward. Engine boost activated. All right, I'll launch one short, thinking he's gonna stop to reverse soon. Or charge in after his whole team is dead. Oh, I thought I had him spotted. Tank build Duncan. Bro, our Lepanto's gonna push right around the corner and this guy's gonna get death struck. Our victory is oh, inside. what was that? He reversed all the way to border just to do that. Patch day never ceases to amaze me. Engine boost deactivated. Uh, 
Well, honestly, you could have been just doing it in AI. Because those kill counters count AI. Imagine if they ever change the kill counter to be only standard battle. And then just seeing people with like 5, 6k drop down to like less than 1k. Dude, that would be so funny. Ooh, and now you can also complete the campaign in AI. Now even more so, they'll just run Shema and AI to boost their kills. I'm actually curious, I didn't even look at the campaign missions. <laughs> There's the AI requirement right there. <laughs> oh boy. The stuff that usually was standard, now you do it in AI. Oh, at least it's a lot, 15 games. Top four. Okay, at least it's kind of a steep uh, requirement. Almost forgot. We, we reset. Twenty floods mission will be a breeze now. What if they just up it to like a hundred floods? I honestly don't think doing that, you know, the 15 games is that bad. Especially if you just do a destroyer, YOLO in, torp as many things as you can, die, go next. All while you're watching something on like your phone or iPad or something. Two radars, possibly three with small end. Action stations. Still chasing a 3k in this thing. 4 DDs. Potential. Engine boost activated. Enemy force sighted on the horizon. Okay, where's their Musashi? I wonder if that's it on the other side. Ok, 
Okay, Musashi's on the other side. Found all their DDs. We're all below the waterline. We're flooding quickly. Smoke screen set. Two tour pits, but no flood. Enemy cruiser sighted. Uh oh, radar. Too far. Engine boost deactivated. Okay, small and apparently has a radar too. Critical engine damage. Interesting you didn't use it earlier. Uh-oh, another DD shooting me. Critical engine damage. Their whole team is shooting me. What happened to our buffalo? Uh oh, bad spawn. Three bar gearing. Okay, we can easily set it on Montana. Hopefully they're broadside on that side. Uh oh, our Stalingrad spotted. Is he just gonna get nuked by that Montana? Come 
Come on, Brick. Broadside Montana. It's your time to shine. Only one sit. Need more. Dude, where's our clip bear going? Are these Oshima Torps? 20 km. Okay, they ran out. Shima Torps? Yikes. No sits. Oh, there's a DD. You think he actually knew he was out there? Hopefully Clever realizes there's a Yoshino there. I don't think our Clever is using his guns. Our Clever is losing to a Shima. He's like gliding sideways. It's rather annoying. Spotted by the DD. Ooh, GK got nuked. Good. I don't think our gearing understands there's a DD in the middle somewhere. Shells landed short. Tragic. What are the chances he has twist and track? Any lead enough? Oh, there's Shima. Good. He's also low, so our team should be able to finish him off. Is he gonna slow down? No slow down. Underlay just a little bit. Only one hit. Torps. Are these gonna reach? 
He did not reach, he was on the edge. Oh, now I'm spotted. Time to go forward. I really hope our gearing doesn't eat torps, that's not meant for him. reverse okay that's not gonna work oh there he is There's a sit. We did not kill the Heezen. Spotted. I'm gonna bow in reverse. I hope I don't get sitted out by those guys. That'd be really unfortunate. Sick bow in reversing. Ow. I got sitted out. This thing does not want to reverse at all. Yikes. Vermont does not smash. Well, we still have a full health A gear. The fact that we got one ricochet on the reversing Des Moines. That was so painful. Does not feel like PC Vermont at all.
Okay, still chasing a 3k in this thing. Okay, I'm pretty sure division spawn middle. Enemy force detected. Okay, there's Stalingrad. Wonder which way the Stalingrad's gonna go. There's a Minotaur. Okay, so no DD spawned here. Hydroacoustic search activated. Why are they all behind that island? No camo, Ohio. Oh, well, there's potential. Oh wait, if he does have a camo, it just looks gray. Uh oh, spotted. Good thing it's only a Stalingrad radar. Enemy battleship detected. Enemy sighted. Enemy battleship sighted. I don't think they're. I think Daring's torps do more, and Daring also has more torps. Dude, this AP is actually kind of nasty.
think I can YOLO this Stalingrad. Engine boost activated. Or did he? There he is. We're shattering on his belt. Fire alarm. His rear turret is uh not facing the correct way. Could be bad. Shame. Can't sit at all, Stalingrad. So Z-52 doesn't have good pen, this has good damage. Actually, I think they do reload quicker. But I don't think they're faster. Chain no walls and suck on eviction, not good for the players. And what direction would that be? Crappy Sh Schroeder is not bad. It's a very niche playstyle. If you don't like secondaries, then you're probably not going to enjoy it, and you're better off with Aegir. But all things considered, Sh Schroeder is actually fun. And Z52 is definitely not awful. You have a 6km sonar that lasts 2 minutes. No destroyer even comes close. Your sonar in a destroyer outranges cruisers too. I mean if you're just basing it off of me trying to YOLO the Stalingrad. That's uh... Not a very good indicator of how good the ship is. There's not a whole lot of destroyers even Citadel the Stalingrad anyway. Except the ones that actually have ridiculous pen. Okay, I'm spotted by a destroyer. Turn around, Holland. Surely, was three get spotted. Uh oh, Prince Rupert. Six overpens as well. Okay, good. Someone got him. Oh, 
There we go. There's gearing. Brick smash. Oh, Yamato, are you gonna get dry pied? Oh, their gearing died. Good. Yamato's kiting. Where did that Ohio go though? Oh, there he is. Come on, brick faster. Spotted. Okay, rear turret's cleared. Only one. So it's that destroyer that's spotting me. I don't know where the one that was on the left went. Oh, there he is. Cheek. In cap my return. I think he's probably gonna try to ram. Probably. Nope. Nope. He is getting deleted. Is out there. Come on, your model game return. I know you want to. He's turning very slowly. I don't know if we have enough angle. Probably not. Oh, we could pen, but no sit.
How does Z52 compare to the rest of the tier? Honestly, Z52 is a very, uh, a very good objective destroyer. Big carry potential because the sonar is 6 km. No DD comes close. Daring is the only other one with 3.5. There's honestly no reason a Daring should beat a Z-52 in a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Vermont is going to be 30 million credits to buy the Bureau. Okay, Dreadico. Not the worst, Tiri. But it's also only three bars right now. Holy, where are those shells on the left going? Hard spotted. So there's a DD. Is that 46? I wonder at what point Torps are going to show up. Especially with our DD being right next to me and not actually scouting. Oh, there's Torps. Oh, they ran out, thank goodness.
those two DDs. I think Palmer and Sonar just went out. Alright, RNG, just give me some sits. He's flat broadside. Oh, there's one. Front guns look a little better. Time to turn around and kite. Because our Holland, or no, not Holland, Smallin, it's not close to their DDs whatsoever. And also, our Petro is very far, so no radar. Come on, Brick, turn. Brick smash. Oh, shame. He's still alive. There's the DD. At least one of them. He can't turn. What is that 46 torque range? I mean, he launched that before. So it's like a, at this point, like 12 cam. There's no way those reach, right? Unless he has Torpedo Safari. Okay, I trust that it's not gonna reach. He gonna bow in reverse. Oh, Petro. I can't tell. Is he reversing? Oh, he just started. Oh, rip turrets. What are the chances all those shells land right on his gun? Can't bow and reverse anymore. Actually, those are Sumner Torps. Do they reach? I think it's only 12 cam now, isn't it? Oh yeah, they're running out. 
No longer the 16 and a half gearing torps. Republic can't even shoot. Oh, that's a GG. Do we have prop mod? I can't imagine what playing this without prop mod would feel like. Go back to Zed. Okay, so far I haven't heard anything from Nate Shot that was worth it. Let's try Ludwig. What's up, Bradley? Any outstanding Vermont games? Um, well, I wouldn't say outstanding, but one decent one. Those are only 3K. This one being killing Aaron. Yep, pretty much. It was our only 3k and what was like 250. 250k damage. Everything else has been basically steamrolls. Struggling to get a 3k in Z52. Okay, the crunch that is spawning B. There's the Moin. Engine boost activated. Which way is their crunch that going? It's just hugging the island, I guess. There's Shimmer.
Okay, maybe he didn't push forward? Oh, there he is. There's Montana. Schlieffen died. Oh, there's radar. sit here and see if we can also beat out Des Moines radar. Or I should just start driving away. Because now there's a lot of things unspotted. Okay, surely Ohio pushes in soon. Uh oh, he got his radar back already. I guess he isn't fully packed. Or that might have been Des Moines. Since he's also right there. Okay, that was Des Moines. Turn in. Yes, eat that torp. Uh oh, spotted. Okay, good. Hello there, Gary. Okay, 
No, smoke's fading. No floods on Montana. I think our team on the right took too long to push in because now everyone else is dead. Shell landed in the water and did damage. Dude, they still have a Des Moines alive. That's such a problem. problem solved, sir. Well, I'm not sure what to do now. Season dead. Bullet reach. What about Des Moines? Enemy battleship sunk. Oh, he landed a torp. Not sure how we're going to pull this out as a win. Stephen probably still has sonar on, doesn't he? Maybe not. Only two, shame. Maybe Ohio Secondaries can set him on fire? Or you can just alpha him. Good. Need to kill the Des Moines. Good. Ohio can't shoot at the Des Moines.
I think I'm in a smoke burning penalty now. Uh oh. Another radar. Jesus, we have to do with so many radars. Dude, Ohio, you have so much HP. Why are you still hiding? Please stop hiding. Oh, I'm on fire. Am I dead? Dude, why are you hiding still? Can you, like, push in, please? What can you shoot from back there? There's only two of them right now that we, you have to even worry about. Okay, we're gonna have to kill something, I think. Problem solved, sir. Oh god, he's reversing flat broadside? Dude, Ohio, what are you doing? Actually, do we have enough time that we're gonna win on points anyway? I mean, 40? With 30 seconds? I don't know. And considering Ohio's broadside is one Montana salvo when he's dead. Okay, maybe we do. Unless he gets deathstruck right now, which he has so little HP now. Sitting bow in on the island would have been more useful. Dude, that kills me. That would have been 36. 3600 in a win, which it should have been. What a tragedy. We lighted so many torps on the Montana too. Torps don't do enough damage to Death Strike in though. We had the most XP in the match too. Tilting? I'm actually speechless after that. I don't know what to say. I didn't want to need him to push pushing when, well, he didn't even push when 
he needed to he just went broadside and sat there or beached or something uh when you so your base xp if you're on the winning team you get 50 percent more That's basically it. So with 2400 last game, add 50% is another 1200, so 36. Stalingrad. And our Ohio's hiding. Battleship players, man. As a battleship main, battleship players, man. Engine boost activated. No flood. Good thing Stalingrad doesn't have a radar. Oh, I did not think he was making that. I thought he was beaching. And Nustrashimi. Okay, so I basically have no teammates on this side. So you're just trying to hide at this point. Understood. Requesting fire support. Enemy cruiser fire support, please. No. Overpins. Enemy destroyer blown up. Great start. Engine boost deactivated. Main turret critically damaged. Problem solved, sir. Alright, is my game over now because everything ran to the other way? Alright, sailing simulator time. I can farm some damage. 
Oh, we don't have enough range. Shell's landing short. I'm aiming way above his deck. Is that 52 be better than Daring? I think it is better than Daring at this point. Because we have much better sonar range. And generally, once you have a DD within your detection, I mean 5 1, he still has a whole kilometer to turn around. And usually that means the DD is dead. And dead DDs mean it's probably going to be a win. Gotta get rid of Stalingrad. Shell, stop landing short, please. healing okay I should probably stop shooting it's like the fifth time that guy beached into an island are there actual AIs on this team Anyone reach the Stalingrad? Hydro Oh no, he's angling. The timing. Okay, Prishlaps, shooting the Stalingrad was a bad idea, especially not having a Nushashimi using his guns. And beaching into every island on the way to this cap. I think I'm getting impatient, making poor dis poor choices, because I'm too tilted after the f that other Zed match, when our Ohio just sat flat broadside to lose. It's still bugging me.
I wonder if they'll add that uh, white and gold skin for Vermont. The one that Kansas has. Marlborough. Hopefully one of those destroyers come to the cap. Wait, we have two destroyers because we have a fail div and they have one? Okay, there should be no way we lose having a destroyer advantage like that. But considering a fail div, you never know. And especially since Udachi is global now. Spotted. Oh, Shleif, and you can't really turn out. There's an island there. No sits. Shame. Good chunk. No sits. Republic. Okay, I need to start bound reversing away. Daring ate a torp. Both of our flanks are not moving. Okay, I'm gonna get focused to death. Aside from new ship focus, our team has gone nowhere. I mean, maybe if they smoke me up so I don't stay spotted. But doubtful. Finally reversing. There's the destroyer. Okay, I should be able to actually go and spot it now though since there's smoke. Staring dead. I don't think he's running sonar. Because from when he ate the first one, it has not been three minutes. Having a DD advantage means nothing. We know that. You can have four DDs and your team throws.
All right, Burke, you need to turn out. I'm still spotted by the DD. Probably gonna get nuked by the Musashi that's in their spawn. Or the Minnesota. Zumo's been like untouched. Maybe soon he'll get spotted and shot at. Uh oh, Yudachi. <laughs> what DD advantage? spotted. Am I just dead now? Or are they shooting our Brisbane? I mean he has a radar. So hopefully he knows how to use it. spotter plane I hope you helped that looks terrible though okay good so far the only things that are dead are what I've dev struck still spotted there's been radar Everyone's dying to the shimmer. Uh-oh. Plane spotted. Come on, Musashi. Reverse. I know you want to. Yeah, 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 just like that. Oh, he didn't die. And he definitely reloads before I do. Oh, actually, I'm probably dead to the others. There are so many things alive, but we lost too much HP at the start. After our DDs couldn't deal with one DD.
All right, four destroyers, no radars. Can I get a 3K game without our team throwing? What's up, son? Thoughts on Z52? Uh, Z52 is really good. I mean, it. I'm sure you've probably seen it already. 5.9 sonar with the 5.1 detection. Stealth sonar and a major one. Sonar lasts two minutes. There is no destroyer that should beat you in a one-on-one. -on -one. Acoustic search activated. Smoke generator started. Come on, German accuracy. Need more hits. Oh, there's an island there, Shimmel. Smoke screen set. He's barely within our sonar as well. Ohio game return. Okay, he's closest, apparently. Probably shouldn't be going on this side, because I might just get shot up by the battleships. Then again, should spot him a whole kilometer before. At least for the next five seconds. Okay, there's Hayate. Yeah, don't mind me, Republic. Reminded me. Tragic, it's turning into a steamroll. How boring. Fire. 
I guess one thing that uh, Daring does much better is the fact that you have the short burst smoke so you can farm a lot more. Without really being in any sort of risk. But farming isn't what's going to win games usually. Oof. That was basically all his HP. Yeah, unfortunate steamroll. A lot of DDs for XP, but they all died way too fast. This is Ludwig. I don't know what the name actually is. So I think they use a weird name for it. We're overpinning. Stone beard, that's what they're calling it. Okay. Uh, Z fifty two has I don't know what is five point nine. Not even Schlieffen's five point nine. Schlieffen's five point seven. Five point eight. GK is 6, but only lasts a minute. And then German cruisers are what, like 5-5? Five, five? Yeah, pretty much DK Sonar in the last two minutes. Crazy they haven't done anything to GK Sonar. And this is what we get. Okay, Hayate spawn middle. And if I had to guess, he's going to see just like the Republic. Search activated. 
Okay, so he's going into the cap. Okay, the Moines gonna radar. Right? Probably should have smoked up before I shot, but it's okay. Oh wait, he beached. Oh, I shouldn't have locked my guns. Okay, Hart is dead. Can I get a fire since I got him to flood? He's still flooding actually. Wait, he smoked up. Oh, he reversed. I was gonna be able to shoot Columbo, but Bress reversed. I wonder where the DD went. Daring or Holland? Okay, it's a Daring. I mean, we have two radar cruisers here. Oh my god. My, my controllers are dying. I didn't even click right trigger, I clicked left trigger. Controllers bugged. Let's just switch. Okay, now this one doesn't want to turn on though. Am I gonna have to use the Duracell batteries again? I think so. Until I can figure out why this one doesn't want to work. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, 
Yikes, that Napoli is getting wrecked. gameplay yeah i'm probably not touching anything other than vermont z52 and schroeder today in fact that's all i've played today okay radar cruisers great Radar cruisers chasing the DD. I'm probably never going to be able to catch up to him. Engine boost deactivated. Oh. Am I fast enough? Okay, DD at A. There's Darren. Hopefully I can find them in two minutes. Torpedoes dead ahead. Battle ends in five minutes. Oh, look, we found him. Ooh, tragic. I think we just let our Des Moines farm as much as he can. seconds. Des Moines is missing and he's not even turning. German dispersion. So bad. Is that 52? You need help, man. We've sunk an enemy destroyer. Okay, 
We almost died because the Moin couldn't hit him. probably gonna win on points even if our Yamato dies enemy battleship detected I don't know what the Des Moines thinks is going to happen to me. There's literally no th reason I'm ever going to get spotted. Their DD is all the way at sea, and none of these things have a radar. Probably should be talking to Donskoy since he's the one getting spotted and shot at. Oh, look at that. Des Moines is spotted, of all things. Imagine he dies after telling me to get back. Especially trying to out-farm a Zhao at max range. Just sitting there. Oh, now he's reversing. They actually almost came back. Maybe I should have threw. Ruined the Des Moines 3400 after I have teammates ruining mine. Alright, back to Vermont. What's up, the priest, GG? Triple cruiser dev ruined your whole plan. Were they a division? Maybe just Colbert and Des Moines? I don't even know. Okay, three battleships here. They probably put the Shema in front of us. Bet. Side, I 
強のブラックドラゴンニュージャージーよ私の力をよくご覧なさい There's a lot of stuff too, Citadel. Question is, can we? Will Orange Jesus allow? Needed to shoot. Well, definitely destroyer and B. But which one? Shima, if there's a Worcester in GK. It's a Shima. How did I know they put the Shima in front of the triple battleship spawn? have a Hayate although it doesn't look like he wants to go into the cap this could be a very bad idea to push around I have to turn back to go into our spawn. Alright, Shima, where are you? He is smart enough not to push out to this flank and he's just waiting there. Well, that sucks. There's definitely a GK charging around. Okay, we got Rupert pushing in. Shima held his torps that whole time, waiting for me to angle to GK. Probably. Oh, look, Shima torps. I'm safe from Shima. But the problem is, there's a GK here. Rear turrets get the angle. Oh, he has one bar. Conk didn't push in. I'm alive! I need to reverse because Shima is now out here. If this thing's ever gonna reverse though. Yeah, there 
there's no getting back. We can't even reverse. We're just gonna get farmed by Worcester. Might as well try to get my guns and shots on him. There's Shima. Tragic two over pins. Just had to be the Shima in front of a three battleship spawn. Should have played Z52. Why did the BBs follow me around? The herd mentality. Guys, this for five minutes over is much better than 5k dubs. I agree, but people always find something to complain about. It's free stuff. Why are you mad? Which one is better? Is a I'd say Z fifty two. Vermont is too much of a brick. It's pre pre buff PC Vermont, so we don't have the better acceleration. Also, no uh, quick cooldown heal. Especially if we already have Ohio, there's not much of a reason to play Vermont. this thing the equal of I kind of like it better than daring because the sonar is just ridiculous although daring is a lot better at farming because you have all the short burst smokes so you can smoke up at will but if you're trying to win the Z52 sonar can get rid of their DDs quickly because of how far it is Engine boost activated. Ugh, radar Can I beat his radar, maybe? Okay, this is a bad idea to push further into crunch that radar range, but I kind of want to Port Ohio. Enemy battleship detected. All right, time to turn around. Okay, now he's turning in. I wonder if my torps got spotted by the spotter. Hopefully not.
Well, now what? Kronstadt's just gonna sit there. Let's hope Kronstadt's not uh, paying attention. I think there's another thing all the way behind the Kronstadt. Solved, sir. Is that their DD? I also hope this guy doesn't have RGA. No way it's gonna give him that gap. There is a destroyer all the way out there. Oh wait, maybe that hits him? Can we get a flood though with it? Oh, it just missed. for one torp to hit him when his damage count was down. He's still alive, there's no way. Okay, maybe Kronstadt doesn't push for... Oh, he's gonna heal soon. Come on, Zed. You have terrible HE Alpha, but you need to do something now. I'm gonna guess the DD went all the way around the island. Oh, there he is. Yikes, Shimo. It's taking sailing on the border or torping on the border on the flank to a whole new level. Uh oh, that was a thing intended to crunch that. Engine 
Did he overturn? He did. Good. Alright, Shima, come here. Should probably be careful. I don't have sonar for another minute. He's still running. I think he is running on the border. He's probably going to go for a cap, isn't he? Okay. Don't have an engine boost, so I'm not sure if I'll even catch him. There you are. He already has six cam detection. Dispersion to work with me here. Rip Shima. That was a RGA Shima. Uh oh, not this map. Minotaur and a Kaba. Well, I think we're gonna get stuck behind the island.
Okay, I think this is another map where divisions spawn middle. Oh, we have Spartan on our team. By the way, he's back in the CC program. If anyone didn't know, that's why he has Z52. Actually, turn like Kansas. I mean, compared to other legendary tier battleships, it does have some better maneuverability in terms of turning circle, but this thing is so slow. Oh, radar mino. Is that a Shima dead? Nice. Radar Minotaur, you love to see it. I think one of the things as well with the British... Uh, Battle cruiser propulsion, it lets you keep more of your speed in a turn. But this thing without it, once you start turning. Holy. Oh. What else is out there with that Ohio? Something tried to smoke it up. Minotaur? And Des Moines? I am in a lot of trouble. This is so bad. Okay, I'm unspotted. Am I spotted by the Des Moines?
Brick, go forward. Shame I got spotted because you didn't want to go forward. Alright, Duncan, keep turning. Oh, I got one of my turrets blacked out. Oh, shame. If only I had one more turret. Shame we had the whole enemy push on this side. Probably should have realized once we saw that Ohio. Because we knew they had division the spawn middle. So we knew there were going to be the three of them. Missed the Admiral Schroeder part. Admiral Schroeder is really fun. It's not great, but it's fun. Ohio better. I think Ohio significantly better. Brick is too much of a brick. Even if I was actually angled away and actually kiting moving, you know, forward instead of reversing, I don't think we even disengage because we're too slow. Because at least with Ohio, since you're not so slow, you can actually reposition. But not with Brick. Once you get spotted, that's where you stay. Double Shima Division. Shima with Ohio. Good to know. Okay, I think we got the Double Shima Div. Best part is I'm not like really afraid of this. Torps. Torpedoes to starboard.
no, no, not the overpens. Okay, that Shimma does not have RGA. One Shimma down. I think I can afford to farm the Yamato for now. Quick double fire. Engine boost deactivated. Okay, hopefully I can get one hit and a flood. Ooh, this is bad. I might be driving into Torf because of the team behind me. Shame. Too big of a gap. Torpedoes direct front. Torpedoes direct front. He turned away. I don't think Shima uses smoke yet. There it is. Still overpinning, even though he's angled. Run, Shima, run. Our team has taken the lead. Enemy destroyer sunk. It's pretty much a GG. They're not shooting the Schlieffen. Or well, one thing is. Get them, Schlieffen! Engine boost activated. Enemy cruiser sighted. Yamato's not even like none of those battleships are looking at him. Oh, Conk is now. But like, what could they possibly be shooting at right now? That's not the Schlieffen. Looks like everything is behind islands.
Does Ash Leafin is going in and having a fun time right now? I'm sure his secondary sets so many fires. Probably landed Torps on Ohio. Now he's on a perma. Rip. No perma. Oh, Shima. You're also smoking up. I don't think he knows. He doesn't know. He doesn't know about the 6km sonar. And Aurora's off to such a good start. Once we kill off a bunch of DDs. But then once we kill off the DDs, it just turns into a steamroll and we can't get our 3k. Imagine not getting 3 kins at 52. I should have had a 3600 game. But we had a, a special Ohio sit flat broadside. And die like in the last 10 seconds of the match. Anything other than sit flat broadside. At like 6km. Would have won. Then we lose, I get 2400 highest XP in the match. Probably still going to use it as a replay, even though it was a loss. Do one of those clickbaity titles. clawing our way back until this happened one of those dot 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 titles Worcester surely Worcester's not here Shima. Dude, three bar Shima. Do you think it's AI? He's just driving straight in. Okay, he's trying to smoke up, but 6km sonar. Okay, we're overpinning.
Oh, Buster's on the other side. He's lobbing over this island. We're good. Probably gonna turn away, right? Start running. Oof. I am located. I guess her DD is coming this way. From where though, middle? Our team has taken the lead. Or maybe I'm somehow located by like one of the ships on the other side. Sick, insta fire. I guess I'll keep gun boating until they start shooting me. There really is a destroyer coming after me, isn't there? Oh, there it is. Engine boost deactivated. We're hold below the waterline. We're flooding quickly. Problem solved, sir. Shame. He abandoned his flank to come this way. Can not you just leave me alone to chase and farm damage, Shima? Alright, 20 seconds and we get sonar back. hitting my bow. Oh, that was close. Smoke screen set. Yeah, go away, Shima. Victory's in sight. 
Great. Now instead of farming damage and possibly getting more XP, I'm chasing a Shima to the border. So glad our other DDs get to torp all the battleships. I don't know if we'll even catch him. Oh, yep, yeah, we'll catch him because we have six cam sonar. Alright, full speed. Game's probably gonna end on points though. Unless something dies. Hopefully something dies. Okay, club air spotted. Will he actually die though? He auto shot him. Ohio's didn't even move though, so he's dead. And that's game over. Man, why did the Shima have to chase me? Should have just left and went to Tort Battleships instead. I think the skill for shorter hydro two more is worth it. I don't know, you're kind of giving up concealment. And that's part of what makes the 6km Hydro so potent. Because once you get spotted and pop your sonar, they have a whole nother kilometer to get out. While they're just staying spotted and your team is probably shooting them. Shit might be slightly worse than Daring. Well, the thing is, Daring is just better at farming. Cap contesting, playing the objective, Z52 is going to win all the time. Z52 is a ship that will win more games for the team rather than in compared to Daring. Kind of a similar thought process of let's say a stealth raider Balti versus a Kutuzov or something. I don't know. It's probably a bad example, but one plays the objective and wins games by playing the objective and dealing with destroyers. The other just farms and can go against other DDs. Just need a a good German event slash collab commander. Same way the British have Grandmaster Smart. And depending on what that does, potentially Z fifty two becomes clearly better than Daring.
Okay, there's a crunch that his radar definitely covers the cap. But the question is, which side is it on? Oh, there it is. Crunch that radar. Crunch that radar, there you go. GK has a secondary build. Smoke generator starting. Hydraulic search activated. Destroyer detected. Smoke screen. What is that battleship in the corner doing? What the heck? I thought I've seen it all today. Clearly not. Oh, Shima drove into my sonar. Poor guy. Once we cap, we go to sea. You want me is a bit special? He's still reversing. Okay, there's another DD. Just as far as Brisbane is. Shema or Elbing? Yeah, there's Elbing, so it's the Shima. Uh oh, Brisbane's pushing in. Battleships delete the Brisbane. Okay, he's still over there. It's just pointing in the middle of the the cap. If 
I can, I'd rather not have to use my sonar. But I probably will. Elbings and B already? Oh wait, is this pointing at Aegir? This might be pointing at Aegir. That might be Shima. Pretty sure that's Shimmer. Torpedoes direct front. Enemy battleship sighted. Okay, if Kita's gonna go after him, I don't think I need to right now. Although our team is just pushing into a crossfire right now. make the turn to oh we're not making the turn I hope we didn't parallel park did we please torpedoes kill him so I don't need to smoke maybe I don't need to smoke El it was Elbing and B. Their Shimma's at C. Oh, maybe I was chasing the Shimma initially. Doesn't matter now. Imagine if I actually hit the Shimmer. Come here, Elbing. Keith is just melting Elbing. He reloaded already. Our team has taken the lead. He's using a blue helping. Their Shima's not been spotted once this whole match. Oh, it was the same Shimmer that came after me from last match. Lol.
Uh oh, our team is all dying to the Shimmel that's never been spotted. Hey, he's finally been spotted by radar. Okay, so this guy is just like driving away. Okay, I think I liked it better with Mortar. Because at least the HE is 17, which I think is where Daring is usually. But 50, kind of rough. Alright, Domination and not Epicenter. Well, Dajon is enemy gearing. Well, he knows. Six cam sonar. Better run. Okay, hopefully there's no Brisbane, though. If I can not have to deal with the radar, that would be great. Although we have, do have A-gear, he overmatches me Brisbane runs. The battleships are landing the other way. Torpedoes to starboard. Hydroacoustic search activated. Yes, twenty five hundred. 2,500 kills. Torpedoes direct front. Torpedoes direct front. 
Uh oh, I went forward too quickly. Bro, the shimmer. You didn't turn away enough, buddy. I did not leave my torps enough. Okay, there we go. He's turning away. No, not my torp tubes. get a fire he damaged on the first one no fire sag oof all right time to go to the other side sailing simulator go Okay, it doesn't seem like they're going to push through A, because our daring is there. Maybe I have time to actually catch up. And actually do damage. I think he's about to get nuked by Yamato. Or not? Well, there's gearing. I'd assume Darren got it under control. Oh, Garen lost all his HP. Get him, team. Alright, I'm gonna start farming this guy. Is he actually gonna shoot at me? Can you just like make it easy for me there, he's in? Holy, your dispersion is a shotgun. Just in case that Brisbane reverses. Yes, just ignore me using. Yamato, I don't think reversing flat broadside to our team is the best idea. Gotta get as much damage off of him as I can because I think he's about to explode. And I'll just run this just in case Brisbane launched something. DCP'd, flood. Armor flood dead. 
Nice. All right, we keep going. There's Brisbane. This game was a steamroll. Can we still get a 3k and a steamroll considering we got two caps and killed BD? Project only one shell hit. Oh, you got sitted out. Boo. All the games that are starting off good end up in Steam Rose, man. Can we get a break and get a good game, please? Hey, we broke 3k. I just had to complain more. We finally did it. We broke 3k. If only the idiot battleship didn't abandon the flank. I agree. I would have had more things to do. Instead of trying to chase the whole match. Yeah, I feel like this build is a lot better. Or at least I enjoy it more. Than going the 5-1 detect. Hold on, let me see this. Still like a minute 43. Hmm. I mean, it could be a good uh, alternative. Because then at least you have four. What's my win rate in 81? I wonder what is my win rate in daring? Probably sitting around the same. Seventy-seven, so slightly higher. Granted, still had a couple of games that should have been wins in Z. Actually, let's take a break from these and go have some secondary fun. Okay. While we're looking for a game, I need to pee, so I'll be right back.
All right, I am back. 30 seconds in. Oh, crossplay off. Basically, we have an old console. Hmm. Wonder who has crossplay off. He's in, since it's not playing yet. And it's past the minute. Front guns look decent. Hopefully they don't land short. You gotta sit, but it did like nothing. Uh, I'm still spotted. That sucks. That means the destroyer's here. Corvair activated sonar. But I already had it activated. Okay, it's a Holland. Fortunately, we can't move a match. Bear struggling to hit the Worcester. Kind of wish I had a radar, honestly. He's and started playing. Problem is Shima's going to chase the Yamato instead of push torping the things that's pushing in. That's a big problem. Like actually huge problem. Not even torping, he's just sailing around. Start Colbert losing to the Worcester. Shame. 
Shim is torping from behind now. He needs to push in. He needs to come back this way. Unless Aegir just eats all the torps now. Since he just beached in the gap. There's no way Shum misses, right? Come on, secondaries, lob this Aegir, please. We need a fire. Oh, nice. Good job, Ohio. Ow. The model had some god tier accuracy. I'm worried about where the rest of the the other two are. Yeah, okay, there's FDG. Ten can can we sit at LA Amato? Four pens. Uh oh. Okay, he has Ichi loaded. Come on, secondaries, you can do it. went oh why is he looking at me shoot the thing in front of you I need funny button Uh oh, there's Worcester. Time to go forward. Get him, team. We almost have 200 secondary hits. Yes, keep pushing in, Worcester. Get into my secondary range. Are they destroyed on the side? They look okay. What if I just don't shoot until you actually get him return to kite? Force you to stay coming towards me.
well, honestly, main battery accuracy somewhat feels better than A gear. But I don't know. Especially because we use the same build. Although now that we actually have a good secondary cruiser, I think we just go back to. Rigawald is good. But Graf Schwe. What is concealment like? 9.8. That's wild. Wait, what if I used Graph? What kind of detection and secondaries could get with this? 9-3 detect. Probably still not far enough. Well, that was fun. Alright, Brick. Spawning on the flank, kind of unfortunate. Three bar Mogador Clipper and Yugamo. Well, that's a little concerning. Spotted. Brick smash. Okay, if GK is abandoning going to the other side, I think I start going that way but shoot the cruiser if I can. Schroeder. Okay, they don't have a division. Alright, what is here? Kleber. Okay, well he's not really a torpedo threat.
Okay, so Schroeder's not pushing in. Spotted. Didi's back in the cap. I think I let enough. Oh, he's turning away. Oh, shame. Oh, Schroeder went unspotted. Rear turret's cleared. Hopefully that's enough. He's broadside? Nice. Alright, a Petra and Mogador should be able to take care of a Kleber. That's a dead Montana. No sits. Rear turrets. Good. Kind of wish that Yamato wasn't just bound reversing. Game return. Uh oh, spotted. But by what? One of the DDs. Oh, he cancelled his turn. I didn't lead enough. There's Yugamo. Smash. Thirteen K. Uh oh, Colbert. Is that for you? Alright, Yamato Gamer turn. Plunging fire, surely, into a citadel. 
Surely. Tragic. Don't hurt me, Amato. Oof, that was a good smash. Another steamroll. This version looks really good. Smash, smash, smash. That was 30k. Oh, there's Kleber. Dude went on an adventure. Mogador did, Mogador did not have perceptive. Definitely a torp build with torpedo safari. Come here, Yamato. Let's have some fun. I wonder if he turned in and he's going to show up there. Oh no, there he is. R.I.P. Yamato. Unless Dispersion saves you. Dispersion saved you. Can my shells get there before the destroyers? They should. It's battleship shells. It should be faster. Alright, everything is right in the world. Alright, let's see what happens if I play it without drill bits. We'll still smash. Especially with Citadels because of the fourth row unique skill. But we should at least be going 25 knots. It does weigh the same amount as your average American. Not false. You could probably go order a bunch of cheeseburgers from McDonald's and eat them before your guns reload.
All right, let's see. One DD, good. What's my McDonald's order? Well, in all honesty, I have not eaten an actual meal from McDonald's. The only thing I've eaten are their apple pies, or technically also their halpia pie, and their fries. Like, basically since maybe middle school? Beginning of high school, maybe? But back then, I used to eat a Big Mac or one of those uh, crispy, no, grilled? It was like a premium chicken sandwich. I don't even know if they have that on their menu anymore. They might, but I have no clue. I've had a McChicken, but that's not really my order. Can we smash that Yamato, please? No sits. My brother liked the McChicken. He eat like two or three. Oh, that's bad. DD's right there. Wait, I'm unspotted? Is there no DD? Where was I spotted from? Oh, maybe out there. Okay, so DD's not on this flank? But coming from the middle? That's kind of unfortunate. Okay, there's Chattington. Did the Moyne actually make a full turn already? Oh, there he is. Brick smash. Oh, he slammed on the brakes. Might have been able to wait a little longer, but I knew my plane was landing. Whoa. Improved pen angle smashing. I really hope Colombo does not show up right when I'm flat broadside trying to turn in. It's back for never. Well, it's not that I've never, it's just not in a long time.
Get him, Chaddington. Letting the last few campaign missions be done in AI is one of the dumbest things we did. I sort of agree, but at the same time, it is kind of a, a lot of AI battles you have to play. I mean, it's what, 15? Top fours or whatever. Our Chaddington should win this. All those shells are touching. It looked like it went through the island too. Oh, never mind. He didn't win that. Are both of his front guns destroyed? Good game, Dude, both of his front turrets are destroyed. I think our... Uh, our Columbo is aiming for guns and not actual damage. Dude, I'm aiming this high but it still hit his bow. Tragic. And because of that, he gets a free Citadel. Good job, game. Shell's landing short in a different form. Okay, but our other flank completely folded. I should not have come out onto the flank. That was a bad idea. Her Holland has never been spotted. Was not our DD on that side? As well as all the radar cruisers. Rupert's dead. Oh, he's gonna turn away. Well, Zao, there seems to be a little village in front of you. Gotta get rid of Zhao first. Ooh, was there Holland right there, or was that where he was last spotted?
All right, Brick, surely no overpens. Oh, yeah, their Holland is here. Uh oh, Xylotorps. If I can contest, then we can start winning on points if Stalingrad lives. Although Alaska is doing the right thing and running. We are winning on points, though. Come on, Brick. Turn. Let's go to the cap. I hope Stalingrad doesn't turn to come and try to help me, but gets killed by Alaska. He shot AP. Stalingrad's dead. Should have just bound reversed. Well, there was a plan. Come on, Holland, shoot me. No, so it's not that close. Not sure which island he went behind. Close one or far one? Probably far. I don't know if we even have enough. Or I don't know if we're close enough if I can kill Holland. Can we still win? He's in the cap. No, we're losing by 10 points or 20 points. Shame. The 
I think Stanley Grad just needed to bow and reverse away. Oof, 2k and a loss. <laughs> oh boy. Twenty XP man. Or not XP, twenty points. Vermont isn't out till next week. And then you can buy the campaign for 30k, Thir not 30k, 30 million. Sold for dubs also, probably. Double Ohio Conk. What's up, Iron Man? Okay, we have a Stalingrad. I wonder where their division would spawn. And which one would spawn in front of us. Palmer, not the triple battleship div. Not a div at all. Alright, gamer turn. Two Ohio's coming from the middle is not good. Also, DD. Maybe it's Yoshino. Come on, Brick, turn and reload. Hurry up. 
Oof, someone touched him. Can I finish him? Nice. Uh-oh, Hummer. It's German, he'll miss, right? What is the third ship that spawned here? Palmer and Stalingrad and something with torps. Yoshino or Zed? But I haven't a clue. Okay, it's Zed apparently. Oh no, it's Yoshino. Gamer turn. Shame. No smash. Ardidi died because he tried to YOLO. Thank you, Overturn. Yep. Dude, that Yoshina is probably just torping. Nice. Oh, get skinny. Do the Oshino is out? No shooting, just kite and torp. at 46. Oh, shame. Her 
Perry Chaddington angle. Please? There he is, he's finally shooting now that we're not looking that way. That's not good. He couldn't kill the Zed when he got spotted. Okay, it's radar. So it's not the Z in the cap. I wish Conk had a citadel above the water. Oh, you're kidding me. One more overpen would have killed him. Okay. Iowa definitely reloads before I do. Although I'm spotted, so DD is somewhere. out there no these torps is he gonna go for the ram No drive-by, just ram. Unfortunate. That basically secured their win. If only Alaska didn't have a 32 bow. Why do any cruiser need a 32 bow? Nerf Alaska bow win. Like, I would not mind Alaska having a 32 casemate. But, like, let us overmatch the bow, please. Or 30 bow. Yeah, not much we could do. 
team on the other side kind of folded. I'm not sure. Our DD tried to YOLO. I think a Minotaur and an Alaska. And then died without killing either. Uh, I much prefer Ohio. Ohio is actually, you know, well, it's only a couple knots faster. But that couple knots makes a huge difference. Had so many battles like this lately. Well, it's end of update and beginning of update woes. There's only like three good weeks during the update, the middle three. First week, all the Pepega potatoes come back to play the new update. And then they leave. And then the middle of the update is when mostly the people that know what they're doing stick around. And then at the end of the update, they come back to either play ships that are getting nerfed. Or like to finish their campaign or something. Battle starts. It's just the routine update cycle. Alaska one radar Schlieff and hopefully the battleships can kind of make them turn away What's up, fat? Yeah, Z52 is fun because it's actually good. And something else to contest. Daring. Okay, nothing is slowing down the Schlieffen. Our Schlieffen lost a lot more HP than they did. He's doing a game return. Battleship snook him. Okay, now that the Schlieffen actually charged in, this is going to be a problem. Unless I can torp him and then I can go after the DD. It's also their daring. Problem is I'm located, but he's not. Oh, there he is. So I'm definitely not getting to him before my sonar goes down. The enemy team has Please die, Schlieffen. One more. 
good. Enemy battleship destroyed. Yeah, I probably didn't need to use my sonar. That was a mistake, I used it too early. Surprise Daring wanted nothing to do with me though. Especially how close we were. Also, what is happening on the other side? How did they go straight through the middle and now they're behind? Landing one at least. Maybe two. One. Flood. Those secondaries came in very late. Problem solved, sir. Can I get a fire since you DCP'd? Okay, good. Ooh, I don't know if that's Ohio that's closest. Is it another DD? I don't know, the other DD's chasing our battleship. Engine boost activated. The enemy team has taken the lead. Dang, this team folded. Still, oh, Daring is also. Nope, that's Z46. New ship. Entire enemy team focuses and chases. Forget about all the battleships on the other side. Gotta go after the CC with the new thing. Shame. All three of their destroyers came here. Even though they were in the middle and could have went the other way to deal with all the battleships. Shame. Definitely didn't help that our whole team folded though. Alright, mortar is better, it feels better, but being outspotted badly. I don't know, maybe I should run the thing that gives more sonars? Ooh, two Brisbane's and a Des Moines. Uh, 
Uh oh, the rebar gearing. Okay, I am ready to be let down. I am mentally prepared. Is there a... There's actually a ladder or stairs that go down to the torp belt. The bulge. Is there a door? I need to go look at that import. Why are those there? There must be a door somewhere that I just can't see it. I mean, there's literally a railing on it, too. Huh. Interesting. Daring in the Z-44. Uh oh, spotted. Unspotted. Is there? Yes, sleep and gamer turn. Okay, there's a Des Moines there as well. Schlieffen does not have secondary shooting? Is this like an accuracy built Schlieffen or something? Who does that? Alright, can I catch Des Moines? Oh, Z44. Good to get that out of the game. Oh, we only hit two shells. Three bar gearing, man. Uh oh. Smash? One Citadel. Where did our Stalingrad go? Oh. He is reversing as far away as possible. Well, there goes the radar that we thought we had. He doesn't have unstoppable, but he's torp build. Uh oh. Rip gearing. All right, time to run. I think I'm just about to get farmed to death because nothing is going to get spotted. And there's a DD. Chasing. And the rest of our team went as far away as they could. Jesus, give it to me. Ugh, only one.
Well, this is uh, GG go next. Oh no, it's right on the stern. Oh, he flooded. Shame. Oh hey, Stalingrad's finally moving forward. A little too late, though. Oof. Well, this is still a loss. I was ready to be disappointed, and I was. Of course I have the Schroeder. I have all the things. Okay, I'll ask about Shima. How's Schroeder going? Schroeder's fun. It's everything I wanted Reverse Strat A gear to be. Uh, I am running Hide. Like, as much as I want Bismarck's inspiration. Having marksman, especially when you slot secondary mod in the first row or first slot, kind of important. Okay, please no Alaska. Do not be at B. Go at to A or C. Okay, is this the okay Yamato div? There's Alaska. Engine boost activated. Oh, rip Darren. Critical engine damage. Problem solved, sir. Fire alarm. Smoke screen set. Cruiser sighted. He's doing a good job of blind firing, though. It's kind of annoying. German dispersion, stop trolling, please. Solved, 
Okay, he didn't die yet. Should be dead. Good. To go. Oh, yeah, Musashi and Yamato. Engine boost deactivated. I am located. I wonder if it's from Alaska. Yeah, it's from Alaska. That's why he's looking over here. But then again, there's another DD that it's pointing at. That's much closer than the Yamatos are. And the Alaska is. I think Torp's got him. Our team has taken the lead. Never mind, my Torp's missed. No, he went forward. That's why they missed. Oh, there's the Zed. Okay, that's bad. Colbert turned in, and our team is so far away. reverse thing Oh, prop mod or not prop mod. Props are up. Someone nuke the cold bear, please. Oh, good. So I got him. And also DD Torps. All right. Engine boost activated. Another steamroll, though. Kind of sucks. Smoke screen set. Our victory's in sight. Uh, Vermont is going to be in the store next week. Oh, the torps ran out. don't think we're gonna have a great match until maybe the end of next week. Our victory's in sight. 
can't be the middle of the update because they're going to take it away. Let's see what kind of RNG you have for dispersion. Cool, only one. Uh, I have not heard him go woo. He does have some uh, some good voice lines though, some silly ones. Actually, that reminds me. Let's change it. Let's try someone else. Ludwig and Nature are kind of meh. Let's do courage. How's the AP on Cruiser? Are we talking about Schroeder? Mm, I don't know. Haven't really stood it out much. Plus, Schroeder is not nearly as accurate as. Uh, Elbing. Oh, how's the EP? Oh, this on cruisers. Well, we're not citadeling anything. Basically, just Z46. High alpha, so we're going to get some decent damage on pens, but we're not going to citadel. Bro, what is that like? sounds so scuffed like he's talking on one of those old xbox mics Engine boost activated. dude is that not
Okay, Daring is about to dumpster them, I think. Okay, the other DD turned out. Uh oh. Good thing we have five one detection. Hopefully FTD doesn't start pushing in. I don't think the torture fast enough. I should have took a bigger lead. I thought he was going to turn away. Oh, well, maybe one. Time to run. FDG probably has sonar. Oh, is that Schlieff in AFK? Where did that Yugamo come from? Get him schliefen. Seems like you have other problems than needing to shoot me there, FDG. Yes, he's turning towards my torps. Engine boost activated. He saw Schlieff and Torps passing and he thought it was safe. <laughs> Arsonist. 
dude for Ohio. Problem solved, sir. Okay, once one thing dies, though, it's game over. And game over. What is the fire chance on these? 7%? Uh, I don't think we have the guy that I'd rather be torching, do we? Do we think the guy's voices are AI? Probably not. I think if it was AI, they wargaming would probably get in trouble. Hey, what's up, Spartan? How am I still streaming? I don't know. With how many steamrolls that's been happening, it has been somewhat suffering. Yeah, nine hours, too. Longest stream in a while. Smash. Hopefully he didn't turn in. Only one. Shame. What a smoke firing penalty. 15-7. So there's a DD. Yeah, there's a DD. And that was a Citadel. That far at the bow. Is that how big the Citadel is? I honestly don't even know.
I just went and spotted. They were torps, but they just ran out. Alright, RNG this. Uh oh. Aim assist over the island, surely. No, just one. There are two destroyers in the cap. I do not feel comfortable in brick with that many DDs. Yes, they keep missing the widespreads. Okay, there's the Z44. Uh oh. Reload. Vermont needs a main battery reload boost. This is so bad. Shima's dead. Uh oh. I think I'm just dead. I don't have a damage on. Unless I don't flood. I didn't flood. RNG, this is blessed. Don't let me down, Vermont. Vermont, you suck. How do we miss a Yamato at 5 km? He has blue. Shame. Vermont, why? It's not even the first time that happened today either. Flat broadside Yamato at 5 and we don't Citadel it. Second time. I think it has to be the plane. It has to be the spotter plane. Tin foil hat theory go.
Yeah, honestly, I think I should just go back to drill bits too. 25 versus 22. It's like no difference at all. Still very accurate, but you get a couple extra salvos. Honestly, it might need to do that. Simply for the fact we're not fast enough to push, and being aggressive is just death. General quarters. Okay, I definitely need to take off courage. And I think the last one we didn't try was Snap Snap. Base reload with your Colorado build is 28.2. Well, for the first salvo and every three after, correct? Forgot to look. One radar. Okay, there's the radar. Good. Hydroacoustic search activated. Oh, there's Daring. Uh oh, Radar. Radar Mino? And our Brisbane just got dev struck. Is there anyone that can save me? Will we preemptively launch those? Okay, I should be able to sit it. I can't even sit it all the minutes are. That's tragic. He is kind of angled though. Ow. Uh oh. Lag? Stream didn't crash. So, Wargaming servers? Oh, there was a small lag spike, but that's it. So am I just dead? Oh, I'm still alive. But I might as well be dead. Okay, that Ohio disappeared because we DC'd. Oh, there it is. 
Now we have this main. I probably should have held one. Time to get out of here. I would imagine the Minotaur is trying to come and get me through the middle. So I think I just try to leave this way. If Minotaur is still there, then rip. Oh, there's Daring. And Minotaur was spotted. Okay, I don't know if our Torps have enough damage to Death Strike in Ohio. Oh, there's another radar. Okay, well, I'm dead either way. There is nothing I can do about it, so might as well just get whatever damage I can. Shima died. Well, that's good. And Ohio's flooding. Yeah, unfortunately, our team did not push the flank. Then them not pushing the flank, that Minotaur got to push into that island. And nothing could shoot at him. I want to see if we actually end up killing this thing, though. Because he's flooding. Ohio Secondaries did not set a fire yet, though. Uh, did he DCP? He DCP'd plus skill to rebuild. With Minotaur right there. tragic we lost all of our last matches so now I can't go back and look which ones were good I know the one Vermont match with Aaron on the other team the loss at the last second because Ohio threw and I think we had one more 3k in Z52. Pretty sure that's it though. How I've been streaming for so long? I don't know. Should I stop at the 10 hour mark? It's like in another 30 minutes ish. 37. Seems like a good place to stop.
I also had Vermont game where Estonia should have reversed. Oh yeah, we had 2k in that. That would have been 3k. Well, I might just go back and uh, get the clip of Dev striking the Holland. <laughs> I don't think I would use that one as a as a replay. Considering most of the match, we were just trying to sail towards the enemy team because of Brick being so slow. And I forgot to put on drill bits. Thought this update was gonna be pretty good. Turn up pretty mid. Let me think. Schroeder. Yeah, I feel like the only reason I'm enjoying this update so far is because we have Ramon and Z52 without them. Yeah, it would probably be kind of mid. Was it Sehalis during the stream said it's a good update? I mean, maybe it's just from the legendary ships that were added, but like, other than that, everything else was kind of mid. They use the wrong ships for the skins in the creator verse. I guess they really couldn't have done higher tier stuff because our higher tier stuff is so scuffed. Like at least on PC, like it's all the same ships and everything that have the skins. But like our tier seven is Iowa. Equivalent tier eight is NC. So I guess it would have been more work for you wonder which art department did it legends art department <laughs> or eu because they don't have one Okay, I haven't been spotted yet, so I don't think there's a destroyer in front. Uh oh, spoke too soon unless I'm spotted from B. Oh, I am spotted from in front. That's lame. Oops, not defensive AA, wrong button. Seems like there's an island in front of you there, Des Moines. He made the turn, I was not expecting that. Oh, a spotter from Minotaur? Uh-oh, now we can't reverse because Brick? Did I stop in time? Uh oh, other flank is dead. 
Bumble and Conk died that quickly? Spotted. All right, this is going to be a steamroll. Our Napoli is losing to a Minotaur. Our Napoli lost to a Minotaur. Brick. That dispersion looks so tragic. Hey Worcester, there's a DD right in front of you. Map awareness? Question mark? He's more interested in trying to kill the conch. Oh, he stopped. to do now. Uh, BG loaded. Okay, Schlieffen. Under the front turret, please, Brick. Trust. No sits. Shame. Alright, I'm all out of heals. Game return to Schlieffen? When I know you want to. No? Oof. Yeah, death struck by a Des Moines. Double fire. Okay, never twice. You're not going to give me a citadel on a broadside Schlieffen, right? Oh, there's a citadel, but we couldn't kill him.
Maybe we would have if we had drill bits. Uh, yeah, Vermont will be in the store for 30 million credits next week. I don't know why they didn't just have it this week. And just release it at the start of the update. Why it needed to be the second week, I have no idea. That last match wasn't cross playoff. It was just not full. Assuming you don't have the tier eight gate too, probably. But I feel like everyone's probably already grinded through like Kansas and stuff. Because Kansas was such a good ship. I don't think there's really anyone that didn't go for Kansas. Unless they're like new players. Interesting, we don't have a DD div, but they spawn both here. You got both tier 7s, haven't bought the tier 8s. Well, you won't need it until like the end. And I mean, the end is like a whole month away. Two months maybe. Oh, he went unspotted. One of them's AFK, and that's so bad. Shema, please full speed ahead and spot. Okay, no destroyers here. Seventeen knots while turning, Jesus. Okay, there is a DD here though. Data. 
I think all I can do is just keep running. See full turning. All stations reporting the position of a strategic. Surely our Shima kills Holland. Good. Can he survive now, is the question. No, he cannot. Uh oh, Ohio's full sending. Much obliged. Okay, both of our DDs are dead, and so are theirs. Tell me I have no idea what you're trying to say, bud. Shatters. We're shattering on a Yamato. Am I hitting his turret? Or are these landing in the water at his belt? There's Ohio. What about Yamato? Okay. 
Get him, Ohio. Engine boost active. Okay, this Yamato's dead. Unless Ohio doesn't push. Smash? No smash. I honestly thought that Ohio would push forward and just delete the Yamato. Especially because he was pretty healthy and Yamato wasn't even looking his way. Get him, Brick. Still no Citadel under the turret. Alright, under the turret again. I could have just shot a superstructure he's so low. Probably should have. Show the armor ski in Mon Vermont. Yeah, Vermont gets easily citadeled. Not like Kansas and Minnesota. Although we do have this uh, 38 torp belt. Torp protection. So it's almost like we have an icebreaker. But uh, Citadel above the water and the space between the bulge and the Citadel is not uh, not as big as Kansas and Minnesota. Alright, I think this might be the last one, depending on how quickly the game goes. 11 minutes away from the 10 hour mark.
one DD. Not a whole lot of things to Citadel. We are not fast enough to go around the outside either. So I might just park there. Shoot at sea. Tour belt seem pretty tanky. Well, if you are angled, sure, but you also have to remember the torp belt makes this almost like it's a circle. And you can't really angle a circle. So if they actually shoot the bow, basically where the front of that uh, bulge is, you can be sitted out pretty easily. Okay, are they abandoning C? Seems like that's where their destroyer is. Did I lead enough? I think so. Rip Brisbane. They are abandoning C. Okay then. There's main. Uh oh, there's torps. Well, let's just go forward and get out of the way. Okay, hopefully that was still locked onto Alaska and not the island. Okay, it seems like it was. Okay, maybe I should push around. Might take a while. But, might as well try to get a better angle. Yeah, I think main kept going. Okay, all their battleships are coming. I should not turn in. I should turn away. Okay, their main has not been spotted in a while. There he is. Come on, Brick Smash, he doesn't know. Only one. Can't get more than one. Uh oh 
Getting shot at from everywhere. Go away, Buffalo. Oh, shame. This is not good. That buffalo needs to go. He's what's keeping me spotted. Palmer, can you help? Oh, all the Ichi from Conks, too. Got another double fire. This is bad. I think I'm just dead. There were too many ships. Too many conks to deal with. And I couldn't go and spot it because we can't run because we're too slow. Because Buffalo just kept us spotted the whole time. No sits. I don't think I go and spot it in time, do I? Oh, I did. Well, I survive a. Uh oh, he's still shot. He's still shot. We're too slow. Dude, he has 20 cam range. No way. Cool. One shell. Or two shells. 20 cam range. Especially us sailing away. Dude, that's wild. Max range build conk. Twenty KM range conk, Jesus. All right, well, unfortunate. Three more minutes till we hit the ten-hour mark. Probably should have just stayed at the island instead of kiting. Especially knowing Vermont is only going 20 knots. If we just stayed at the island, we would have had some cover. But then again, I wasn't assuming a conch would have 20 cam and could reach the whole time. Also didn't help, Palmer went to run or hide so he couldn't shoot the uh, buffalo. And it was also very odd, they all abandoned their Shima, or I don't know if it was a Shima, it was a DD, but their DD was playing the objective on the other side, but they all left. For some reason. Actually, it has to be more than 20 km in conch, because I mean, if we're sailing away, he's at 19.8. He has to aim further. So at least 21, 21 and a half, maybe 22. Still had that unfortunate uh, server disconnect. So now we can't go back and look at all our matches, but I think there were three. 
Although the struggle of finding those matches in a 10 hour stream and then editing it is going to be a, a pain. Especially not having the ability to look back so I can have an idea of where it is. Z52. Win rate dropping. I'd say we're still doing pretty well considering we're in the new ship and absolutely everyone wants to shoot. I think Vermont struggled though. Because a lot of the time it was just steamrolls. 52. Vermont 52% win rate needs buff. We're only averaging 1900. How is Montana doing? Montana's averaging 2k. With significantly more battles. Could be patch day. But there's no way Montana's better than Vermont, right? Okay, everything else is averaging like 2k. Vermont is actually struggling. It's too much of a brick. Oh, and Channington's like 2,500. All right, we hit the 10, 10, uh, 10 hour mark. All right. Well, that's good enough for me. Damage looks less than Ohio too. What am I even averaging in Ohio? 150. 145. I mean, it's a little less. Surprisingly, XP is less. Considering Ohio, a lot of that is secondary damage. I guess Vermont just isn't doing what we needed to. I guess the XP would be lower too because we have a lot more losses because of steamrolls. That could also be a factor. How do we do in Schroeder? And we only played like three matches. Schroeder. Oh, 50. Yikes. I think XP probably will be lower though. I mean, it's a secondary build and secondaries is where probably most of the damage will come from. Two million potential damage though. Averaging over a million. Schroeder is fun. I enjoy it. Z52 is fun. I enjoy it. Vermont. It's kind of a struggle. It's probably worse so because of the new ship focus and not being able to disengage whatsoever. That probably adds a little to the tragedy of Vermont. Maybe I should just do a build where there's a lot of concealment so I can go and spot it. I probably have to do it in another commander though. Maybe Ale Colorado and we go concealment. Not even sure what to do.
The one thing you know is they didn't give you the concealment like PC. No concealment like PC, no British battle cruiser propulsion. So you can keep your speed whenever you have to turn and not go down to like under 20 knots. And then, I mean, obviously it doesn't need the 40 second heal, 40 second cooldown. Oh look, our team won. Uh, if one more thing was alive, this guy would have got a solo warrior. Our team won on points. Ooh, their Shima had 2300. Feels bad. It's okay, I had a 2400 in the loss and said 52. Shima gets it. Well, with that wind, what does we go to? Oh, now we're averaging 1900. This ship is still kind of meh. The only good thing overmatch and big damage and relatively accurate. I think that's about it though. I still think Chaddington is better. Okay. Well. Next stream, what is today? Today is Monday. Wednesday, I guess. Although that'll be back to normal times. And then I guess after that, Saturday. And I had a 40 weekend this week and it went by so fast. Crazy. And gotta go back to work. Oh well. Shocked they didn't give the battle crew the turning. This Vermont. Like a lot of the other ships that were added are like the pre-nerf or pre-buff version of a ship on PC. My best example that I just know off the top of my head is like Massachusetts. Before they made Massachusetts what it was on PC is basically what we have. Slightly more accurate, slow turret traverse, slow reloading secondaries. And then before it got released, they did a buff to make it fun. I mean, even the Stalingrad, at least the way it was released, it was Battlecruiser Dispersion, or sorry, pre release Battlecruiser Dispersion, AP only. And then eventually they gave it HE and Overmatch Mobile, and then Cruiser Dispersion. I don't know. I think it uh, shouldn't be in a rush to get Vermont, honestly. Especially if you have Ohio. Ohio is just a lot better rounded.
And also you don't suffer nearly as much from how slow it is. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your, well I guess most of you be evening by now, or day, wherever you are, and uh, hopefully catch you guys next time. If not, have a great rest of your week, and I uh, will see you guys later. But anyway guys, till next time, aloha.